These right here are my Nike mags. They go for about $15,000. ¿Qué? $15,000? ¿Estás loco? No, no, Ahora no, sí. Yeah, no. Ahora sí vas a entender, eh. No, yeah, Ven right acá. Ven I was acá. Lying. Ven I was acá. Yeah, I was lying. So you're lying. No. So you're not lying. No, yeah, no. My name's Tim, and I'm a hype beast living in a Mexican household. I love collecting shoes, but my parents just don't understand my passion, especially my dad. So here's some of the shoes that I've acquired over the years. I got shoes like the OVO Drake 12s, the Travis Scott Air Jordan 4s, even the new Off-White Air Force 1s. And that's just a little bit of my collection. I spend about $2,000 a month on shoes. Can I use this? $2,000 a month? Yeah, why? That's a lot of money. De donde saca tanto dinero? Your primos from Mexico, they could use that money, mijo. So what does that have to do with me? Hijo de tu madre, es tu familia, niño, no entiendes o qué? Mira, andas gastando todo esto y ellos no tienen para comer, eh? My dad is always lecturing me about how much I spend, especially anything that has to do with shoes. Like, dad, can hype beast in peace? Hey, ¿y a dónde vas? I'm going to Fairfax, there's a new Supreme drop. Ay, Dios mío, hablo inglés. I'm going to the store to buy new clothes. Okay, pues. I want you here by nine. By nine? I can't be back by nine. I have to camp all night. Aquí no es hotel. You're not going to be coming back and forth whenever you want. Just go in the morning. In the morning? I can't go in the morning. I'm going to miss out. Te dije que no, y es no. Why don't you do something better with your time? ¿Ya limpiaste ese cuarto? My room's already clean. Did you cut the grass? We live in an apartment. Are you talking back to no, me? How does it want to get in his happy? How does he? Ya mataste, niño. Ya mataste. Mi hijo es buen niño, pero gasta dinero a lo menso. How many shoes does he need? Solo tiene dos pies. Pásala, pásala. Dad, I just got the new off-whites. Okay? Off-white? No one has these. They're not even white. Están amarillos. Off-white is the brand, Dad. Pues no andes gastando cosas que no. Hey, Dad, have you seen my ye- No, what are you doing? I'm buying your shoes. I'm going to work. No, no, no. These were dead stock. <sighs> they were tucked away in your closet. You never used them? That's exactly the point. Now the value's down in these. <sighs> ah. I'll just borrow your other shoes then. <laughs> Even though he doesn't understand my high beast life, he sometimes tries to help me. But he's not really doing that much helping. ¿Qué haces? I'm cleaning my shoes, Dad. ¿Y esto? ¿Qué es? That's my shoe cleaner. Ah, esto no sirve. Here. Usa esto. Esto limpia todo. Y muy bien, eh? Dad, I'm cleaning my shoes. That's why I'm using shoe cleaner. Ah. Esto es better. Your shoes will smell nice. And it's what I use on my guaraches. That looks like something that Jesus would wear. See, he does. Your tío Jesus, he brings them from the rancho. You should see his collection. Toma, link el mío. I get it. My dad is just looking out for me and wants me to be more responsible. Dad, what are you doing? Okay, tengo hambre. You've been taking forever. This is my life. Hey, ya me pierdes tu cuarto? Te dije desde la mañana, eh? Niño mocoso. I'm going to put my Mexican dad in this giant red circle for 24 hours. And if he can make it to the end, then hey, I'm hey, 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 hey. I'm not standing there for 24 hours. Estás loco o qué? I was going to say, I'll give you $500,000 in cash. Híjole. Well, why don't you start with that? Andale, start the timer. I'm in front of my dad's room with $100,000 cash. Dad, I'm curious, would you quit your job right now for a hundred? Yes! Uh, for a hundred thousand? Yes! Uh, you, you, I said yes, mijo. You don't want to think about it? What's there to think about? That's three times more than I make right now. I'll call my manager if you want. You know what? Marcos, if you're watching this, I quit. No two weeks, this is my two seconds. I never liked you and I never ever respected you. A ver, I'm taking this money and I'm going to Cancun. Move, quítate. This is a scorching hot bowl of caldo. And I'm going to make my mom put her hand in it for one hour straight. Ah, leave me alone. Why would I do such a stupid thing? Vete. I guess you don't want $80,000. 
Wey, 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 mijo, 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 ven para acá. Espérate. When you flip tortillas with your hand for over 30 years, you lose all sensitivity, so give me my money. <laughs> okay, Dad, you're on hour two of the circle challenge. How are you feeling so far? I've been better, but if I could last 30 years with your mom, I could do 24 hours in this circle. Oh, watch out for the roach. <laughs> ah, you stepped on the red line. No, I didn't, mijo. My feet were here the whole time. Okay, let's check the instant replay. Replay. Mijo, no. You know my feet have been here. You saw that. That's a lie, mijo. That's a lie. Dad, rules are rules. You lost. Mijo, no. I'm begging you, please. My feet were here. But you know what? I'm going to give you $10,000 anyway. $10,000 for losing? You know what? Let's make it $20,000. Mijo, you don't understand how much this helps. I got the house bills, the car, your mom, and... Well, with that being said, I'm gonna go to the casino now. I'm gonna double this. I'm going to spend the next 50 hours in the kitchen while my mom roasts chilies on the stove. 50 hours? Is that local? I'm not gonna be here 50 hours to stand up chili. Start the timer, Chandler. Who's Chandler? <laughs> All right, guys, it's been two hours so far, and I don't. Two hours? The cameras, it's been 10 seconds. Mom, just go along with it. It's for the content. Get content, get nada. I didn't raise a liar. All right, guys, I'm on hour 13, and this is way harder than I thought it was going to be. My lungs are on fire. There you go again with the lies. You've been here no more than 30 seconds, por favor. Mom, please just go along with it. It's just for the video. No, lying is lying. What would your abuela think about this? Her little Antonio running around and lying to the entire world? No, I will not stand for this. Chancla, 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 chancla. Ay, ya, callate, por favor, Antonio. I'm trying to watch my novela in peace, and all I hear is chancla, chancla, chancla. Ya, callate. Mom, I'm making a YouTube video. I don't care, YouTube, whatever. Why don't you apply to jobs or something? Make yourself useful. Ay, Dios. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, we'll just get back into it. Chunkla, 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 chunk. I just told you. I just told you to stop it, and what do you do? You continue. You don't know how to listen or what? And what's this? Your room's a mess. Clean up your room, por favor. You're not embarrassed with your little friends? I know. Puerco. All right, guys. Um, I think we're going to have to be a little quieter so my mom doesn't hear. Chunkla, 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 chunkla. Ahora sí, ahora sí. You want chocolate? Okay, okay. I'm gonna give you chocolate. Okay, no, 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 mom, no, mom, mom. Wouldn't it be great if you met someone that was just as lost in life as you are? Well, thanks to Trash Mingle, you can now find the perfect man. Today, I will be donating half a million dollars to random Twitch streamers. This is gonna be good. Gaby, he's this? Did you say you're giving away half a million dollars? Uh, yeah, I'm giving the money to small streamers. What? Why to them? What about your cousins in Mexico? Eh? They need the money. Well, are they streamers? I don't know what that is, but they need money for food, clothes, and, and to live. Okay, but if I give them the money, I'm not going to get views from that. <gasps> Vas a ver, muchacho. I raised you better than that. Well, what about the money I gave you? Why don't you give that money to them? I earned this fair and square. They have nothing to do with this. You know what? You're right. Maybe they don't deserve it. Why are you so obsessed with me? Boy, I wanna know. Ay, mijo. Lying Where did I go time. wrong? Mijo, stop doing those stupid dances. Go outside and do some yard work. <gasps> did you pet your nails, mijo? No, 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 come here. Dad, come, dad, come, dad, here dad, mijo. Dad, come here, mijo. Come here. My name is Anthony, and I'm a TikToker living in a Mexican household. Being a TikToker is kind of hard in a Mexican household. My dad is old school and he doesn't understand that TikTok is cool. Thank you for helping me today, mijo. This is what you should be doing every day, working outside like a man. Didn't even notice. No mijo, ¿qué estás haciendo? I'm making a TikTok. You're dancing with a shovel, mijo. That's not a girl. Get back to work. Let, let me just finish this TikTok. Let me just finish this TikTok. Dad, 
Why did you have to give me a son like this? I pray every day. I go to church all the time. And you give, you give me this? <sighs> Shouldn't want to die. Uh, I might start a riot. Mijo, Mijo, are you okay? Are you crying? Everything okay? Dad, you messed up my TikTok. <sighs> Mijo, I thought you were crying. Hijo de tu madre. I don't understand kids these days. Back in my day, we would work the fields con las puras manos. Every day of my life since I was three. But my son, all I see him doing every day, all day, girly dances like this. And he's on the phone all day, todo el día, haciendo swipe, swipe, swipe. Parece como, parece como, como un zombie. Hey, mijo, I'm gonna go to Swami. You wanna go? Mijo, mijo. Huh? What? You wanna go to the Swami? No, I I'm good. Mijo, how long have you been sitting there? I don't know, like seven hours? Seven? Siete horas, mijo! Mijo, what's so good about this app? I mean... It's cool to watch people dance. Mijo, all she's doing is moving her arms around. I did this when I was a baby. Ya me voy. I don't know why it's so hard for my dad to accept new things. And he's always talking trash about my style. This is fresh. Oh, look at my daughter throwing on her makeup. You're getting ready for a quinceanera, mijo? <laughs> dad, I told you, this is TikTok fashion. I'm an e-boy. Keyword, mijo, boy. You should dress more like a man, like your brother. Why do you have Pablo as your screensaver and not me? He's the only son that came out right. Whatever, Dad. Esto de TikTok, uh, a mí no me gusta. I don't like it. It really pissed me off, pero he's my son, my hijo. So I try to keep an open mind for him and see things from his perspective. Yeah, I got the juice. Came in the party like I'm the man. Me and my crew. Hey, 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 Miko, why is it so close to my face? I don't like it. That's how it works. Miko, turn it off. He's scaring me. That's how the effect works, Dad. The effect? Miko, it was following my face. Ese app is el diablo, Miko. El diablo. Unfortunately, I don't think my dad is ever going to understand my TikTok life. Miko, I'm not playing with you. Take off your nail polish. It's embarrassing. Ramon, what were your thoughts on the chapter? I thought it was quite intriguing. I think the theme of patience really resonates with me. I also discovered... Mom, what are you doing? I'm in the middle of class. Cállate, estoy asando chile. No me hables así. My name's Ramon, and I'm in quarantine in a Mexican household. Now that I'm home all day, my mom takes advantage of it. My daily schedule consists of cleaning, cleaning, and more cleaning. Ya levántate! Ponte a limpiar! What? Come on! I cleaned all day yesterday! ¿Y qué? Hoy no has hecho nada! <sighs> be Mexican, they said. It'll be fun, they said. <sighs> How much longer do I have to clean for? Hasta que esté limpio. My fingers are all pruny now. I can't even feel them anymore. No exageres. Yo siempre limpio toda la casa y no me quejo. Now that we're in quarantine, all my classes are online. But let me tell you, online school is impossible in a Mexican household. Besides A, B, and C. They're often called the Pythagorean equation. A squared plus Choi, B stop! Squared. I'm in class right now! Choi, stop! I'm in class right now! Who's that weird looking person on the computer? That's my professor! Can they hear us? Yes, so be quiet! Did you know that Ramon still pees in his bed? No, I don't. I don't. Ramon pees in his bed! Ramon pees in his bed! Ramon I hate my life! No one should bother me here. Mom! No me digas, espérame, ¿qué? I came outside to get away from everyone. I estoy hablando con tu tía Marta desde la mañana, no he hablado con ella, por favor. You can't go inside? Pero mira el día, está muy bonito. It's raining. 
¿Me estás contestando? No. Ay, estos niños de verdad que te digo. I understand that the situation we're in is serious, but I feel like my mom is overreacting. If I even have the slightest cough, she goes in overdrive. I'm not sick. I was just choking on my food. Mom. Quiero que te tomes esto. Quiero que te lo pongas, por favor. I don't have the virus. ¿Y tú cómo sabes? Yo no estoy exagerando. Solo quiero cuidar a mi hijo. Hasta le hice una máscara para cuando vaya a la tienda. Mijo, mira lo que te hice. A knitted mask? Sí, mijo. Es para protegerte cuando salgas. You know it has holes, right? It's literally not going to do anything. Duré horas haciéndote eso. Ni las gracias me das. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. Thank you for the mask. De nada, mijo. Póntela. Si la usas, te va a proteger de todos los virus que hay en el aire. Sure. Whatever you say, mom. I don't know how much longer I can do this, but I'm slowly losing my mind. Ramón, stop la basura! Please, send help. ¿Oíste? Yes, mom, I'll do it right now. Who put my new Yeezy 700s in the trash? These are exclusive! They're ugly. That's where they belong. Dad, are you kidding me? How dumb can you be? ¿Te crees, hombrecito, que? My name is Tim, and I'm a hype beast still living in a Mexican household. My family doesn't understand my hype beast life. Like, my dad thinks it's just a phase and that I'll grow out of it. But it's not a phase, it's who I am. Hijo de tu madre! Are you kissing your shoes now? No, I'm just making sure it doesn't have any scuffs for the buyer. Buyer? Están bien feas esas cosas. Stop wasting your time and go get a job. This is my job. Job mis nalgas. Look how soft your hands are. Get a man's job. Como la construcción. Con tu tío Jorge. I don't want to work construction. Ah, when I was your age, I had five full-time jobs. Whatever, Dad. I gotta go. How much money you gonna make anyway? Thousand dollars cash? Mil dollars? Pues vámonos! I'll drive! Ever since my dad found out how much I make from reselling, he's been trying to get into the business. Mijo, mira! I got some shoes we can sell! Where did you get those? At the swap me! Hey, mira, mira, mira! Mira, ese, como supreme, eh? Como te gusta! That's not supreme. No one's gonna buy those. The ones you sold earlier were mass fails. These have to be worth at least 5,000. No way, and I can guarantee you those are fake. The guy told me they're real. And you believed him? No, pero salieron baratos. <sighs> Whatever. I'll sell these myself on the offer up. <laughs> Supreme, eh? <sighs> Oye, why does Tim dress like a, like a payaso? I don't know. I think God's punishing me for poner de cuerno a mi esposa. Sí, muchas veces. Oh, hey, Dad. Hey, tío. Hola, amigo. Oye, hey, ¿te puedo preguntar algo? What's up? Okay, okay. Hombre, hombre, okay? Why do you dress like a clown, mijo? I told you, tío, this is the style nowadays. You call that a style, mijo? That's why you're single. Why don't you dress like your younger primo? Now that's style. He's wearing a $5 Walmart tank top. I'm wearing a $200 CDG shirt and a $150 Supreme headband. Okay, and? He still looks better than you? Whatever, I'm a hype beast. This is my style. Okay, okay, okay. Relájate, mijo. I get it, I get it, I understand. You like your shoes, your clothes, your style. Pero, todavía te ves bien Hey, pero, he makes a lot of money. I'm actually trying to get in the business. You trying to buy some shoes? My family isn't about the high beast lifestyle, so they don't understand that I need to keep my items in pristine condition. A ver, mijo, ayúdame. Okay, coming. 
Get my soul. You got a poop or what? Why are you walking like that? I'm trying not to crease my shoes or get them dirty. They'll lose value. They're shoes. They're supposed to be worn, cabron. If they mess up, just buy another pair. These are Nike off-white Prestos. They're limited edition. I can't just go to the store and buy new ones. Ah, pues apurate. I'm going the fastest I can. I know at times they tease me and like to get on my nerves, but I think that deep down, they understand my passion. Oye, amigo, seriously? You look like a clown, mijo, un payaso. You should change. You're never gonna find a wife like that or a husband, whatever you're into, it's 2020. I miss you so much, baby. I can't wait to see you again. Oh, I miss you too, my little boobaloo. We should just run away together. Ramon, ¿qué te dije? Ponte a limpiar. My name is Ramon, and I'm still quarantined in a Mexican household. Last time we talked, I mentioned that my mom has been forcing me to clean every day. Well, now she's making me clean every day, every other day, and every other other day. And I'm finally done. Now I can watch some Netflix <laughs> after I shower. To go shower? I finished what you told me to do. No, you didn't. No has terminado ni la mitad de tus quehaceres. What do you mean? I've been cleaning for hours. Ni has limpiado la botella de tapatillo. What? And you haven't scrubbed the ceiling. Mira nomás. Who scrubs the ceiling? ¿Me estás contestando? Te pego. There's no way cleaning this much is healthy. If anything, all these cleaning chemicals are gonna kill me. Ramon, ayuda, mi hijo está atorado, ¿sí? Okay. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, it's in my eye. I can't see. Calma, hijo. Oh, it burns. I think I'm going blind. Oh my God. What was that for? Paraste de llorar. Gracias. Abuela was right about her. I'm about three weeks from graduating and I don't think I'm gonna make it. My dad started doing all these home improvements and is always calling for my help. Mijo, can you come outside and help me real quick? Dad, I can't right now. I need to finish this assignment. Ah, assignment means nalgas. Come on, I need your help to build a second shed. Why do we need a second shed? Por qué no? I already got the wood. I need to turn this in by three. No, you need to help me. Apurate. ¿Qué estás haciendo? Put that thing away and use both hands. Dad, graduation depends on this assignment. Okay, pues. You don't want to listen? Vas a ver. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, mijo, look what I made you. A metal face mask? Si, sí. esta bonita, eh? And I thought my mom's face mask was bad. Thank you, dad. Since we're in quarantine, I never get to see my girlfriend. So I have to FaceTime her. And let's just say there's no privacy in a Mexican household. No, I asked you first. No, it answers to Okay, okay, fine. If I was next to you right now, I would... Mom, I'm on the phone. Haz de cuenta de que no estoy aquí. Y además, no me gusta cuando hablas con esa muchacha tonta. What did your mom say? Uh, nothing. She just said how pretty you are. Ay, qué mensa. I can't wait for things to go back to normal. But until then, I'll be right here. Suffering. A lot. To start off, we're just gonna go right into I the banana. I told you to get off this stupid game and to take up the trash! Dad, I'm streaming right now. Streaming? I don't care! My name is Anthony, and I'm a streamer living in a Mexican household. 
Being a streamer is extremely hard in my house. My dad doesn't understand my career at all. Hey Gorilla Gang, don't forget about the stream tonight and also don't forget to follow me for a follow back. Hey, who's following you here? No one is following me. I'm just making an Instagram story. Why are you telling them to follow you? I don't want them here. They're not going to come here. I told them if they follow me online, then I'll follow them back online. Okay, but be careful what you say on the internet. Lots of weirdos online. And I don't like you talking to strangers anyway. They're not strangers. Well, actually, I guess they kind of are strangers. But, but that doesn't matter because they're my fans. Ah, fans means nalgas. Weirdos. That's what they are. Oh, thank you, Little Mike, for the 50 cent donation. Also, guys, don't forget, when we get 10 subscribers, we're gonna be doing a huge giveaway. So make sure- I need help filling out these papers. It's important. Dad, I can't right now. I'm working. Can we do it later, please? I can't later, can nada. You're not working. You're just playing Nintendo. I'm literally streaming right now. I have people watching me. It's okay, just put pause. I can't pause it, it's live. Dad, please, can we please do it later? Okay, please, we can do it later. And later when our family is homeless, because you didn't help fill these out, I don't want to see you cry, okay? Mi hijo is always on the computer for hours and hours, wasting my electricity. So I found a way to get him to stop. What? God. Dad, the power went out. I know, I turned it off. First of all, why are you in my closet? And what do you mean you turned it off? I'm tired of you on the computer all day just typing away your little games. So I turned off the power. You can't be serious. Oh, I'm as serious as can be. Why don't you go outside and do something productive like, like play with dirt. <sighs> One thing about being a streamer is that it can get pretty expensive. The CPU, motherboard, graphics card, they all add up. And well, my dad thinks it's a waste of money. Oh man, this PC build is about to be fire. Hey, get these boxes off the dining table. This is for food, not basura. Dad, stop, these parts are expensive. How expensive? Uh, I mean, they're not expensive. Tell me, how expensive? About $3,000. $3,000? Is that local? That's a lot of money, mijo. Yeah, but it's an investment for my career. With that $3,000, all of your cousins in Mexico could have got food and some new clothes. They're poor, mijo. Don't you get it? Okay, and what does that have to do with me? ¿Qué dijiste? Oh, okay, okay, I was just kidding. I I'm sorry. Return all of this. I see computers at the Swami all the time for cheap. Good quality too. Whatever you say, Dad. Hey, I need help. I got two guys behind me and they're tearing me up. I need backup right now. Dad. Dad. Ah, uh, que quieres? I'm streaming right now. Can you please not vacuum? Okay, I'll stop. That was easier than I thought. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, hey, now you come vacuum. What? You don't understand English? Okay, come vacuum. <sighs> stop vacuuming, que es eso? You want me to stop vacuuming? Now you can do it. To be one of the best, you have to make sacrifices. And I'm sacrificing my sanity by streaming in this household. I just don't know how much longer I could last. I have a Balotero cart filled with 30 pounds of dry ice. And if my Mexican dad can stick his hand in there for 24 hours, he'll win $200,000. Dry ice? Are you dumb or crazy? If I stick my hand in there, my hand will freeze within minutes. What if I make it $500,000? 500000 Okay. <laughs> oh, start the timer. I'm outside with a check for $300,000. And if my mom can hit a target with the chancla, she'll win all the money. Ah, uh, that's easy. How many chances do I get? You only get one chance. And trust me, it is not easy. OK, Ramon, I'm going to pay you $10,000 to hit this target with that chancla. And to make it easy for you, I'm going to put it right here in front of your face. Oh, perfect. 
No, 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 it slipped. It slipped, please, please. Give me another chance, please. Please, 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 please. I need like $5,000, please. Please, I'm student loans, please. Mr. Beast, please. No. Why'd you slip? Ah, uh, the target's in front of me. It's a piece of cake. Actually, your target is over there. It's a little farther, pero mira esto. Don't forget, you only get one chance. Uh, you don't have to close your eyes. You, you can open your eyes. You know that, right? My golly Whoa. gee. You actually hit it. You won $300,000. Yes, yes, thank you. Thank you so much. If you need me, I'll be at Ross. <laughs> oh my God. I have my new Mr. Beast burger and I'm gonna pay my mom to eat it. ¿Qué es eso? ¿Y las tortillas? It doesn't have any. It's a hamburger. Mijo, hamburgers are nasty. I'd rather eat my tacos. Well, I was going to pay you $10,000. Mijo, I love hamburgers. A ver. Mmm, it tastes so good, mijo. Mmm. Do you have more? It's so. <laughs> I, the things I do for money. All right, your hand has been in there for some time now. How are you feeling, Dad? Feeling? I lost that a long time ago, mijo. Can I take a break? If you move, you lose. It's so cold and like I can't handle it, mijo. How much longer do I have? You're almost there. You're only 21 hours away. I don't know how much longer I can do this for, mijo. The coldness is taking over. Are you giving up? There's $500,000 on the line. I know. Imagine all the sweet elotes I can buy with that. But no, I need my hand. I quit. <laughs> One, I don't feel anything. But two, I don't feel anything. Mijo, what do I do? Okay, Mijo, what okay, do I cut do? the camera, cut the camera. That wasn't supposed to happen. Uh, don't, don't show the fans this. Don't show the fans. They can't see this. I'm here with little Chewy, and if he can leave his hand on this thermostat for 24 hours, I'll give him $100,000. But if my mom finds out, she'll kill me. Well, are you down or not? I guess so. Start the timer, Chandler. I really hope my mom doesn't come home early. Don't forget, there's 100,000. Ah, que bonito. What do you think you're doing? I, I can explain. I told you countless times not to touch the AC, and what do you do? You touch the AC! But, but he told me to do it! Uh, yeah. You told him to do it? Yes, but... You it, told my baby to touch the AC? It's... it's Basta uh, then. Uh, Ven pa'ca. It, but it's, it's for $100,000. Tu quitate! Chandler, start the timer. <laughs> If Ramon could last 24 hours covered in vapor rub, I'll give him $50,000. Man, I would never do something stupid like that. How about for $300,000? Okay, I will definitely do something stupid like that. But you have to also put it on your face. Five, four, three, two, one. And you won $300,000. How do you feel? Happy? Blind, but happy. Hey, do you think you can drive me to the hospital, please? Hey, 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 cut, cut the camera, cut the camera. Everything burns. Hey, he signed the liability waiver, right? Oh my God. Okay, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> From the top, make it drop. That's a wet 
That's okay. Hijo de tu madre, ¿qué andas haciendo? Mom, it's, it's not what it looks like. Ven pa' acá. No, please, no, mom, not again, no. ¿Por qué te dije que no andas My name is Anthony, and I'm a TikToker living in a Mexican household. I've been making TikToks for a while now, and it's part of my life. But my mom just doesn't understand it. It's only right that you should play the way you feel it. Ay, Dios mío, mijo, are you possessed? No, mom, I'm making a TikTok. TikTok? Yo vi en la tele que es el diablo. Just because you saw something on TV doesn't mean it's true. Esto es lo que el diablo quiere que pienses. Esto para ahorita. Jamás quiero ir tic tac en mi casa. Ay, Dios mío, por favor, quítale esos malos juicios. I work really hard on my TikTok dances, and I would say I'm better than Charlie. But it's hard to be the best when you get interrupted all the time. Get a bucket and a mop. That's a wet. Toma. Come on. You messed up my TikTok. I had it that time. Dijiste que querías cubete trapeador. Aquí está. I didn't actually want it. I'm doing the WAP. Instead of doing the WAP, start to mop. <sighs> Why can't I just make TikToks in peace? Yo sé que TikTok es el diablo. Y déjales digo, el diablo no va a estar en mi casa un día más. See, I told you he's being controlled by it. Uh, mom, who is this? This is Father Guzman. He's here to help us. With what? With you. Hello, son. I'm told you've been interacting with the devil, and I'm here to help you. I've performed exorcisms before. Exorcisms? I'm fine. My mom's just exaggerating. I'm literally just on TikTok. See? TikTok does the devil inside him. I can sense it also. We must act fast. Hold him. What do you mean grab him? Mom, stop. Demon, release yourself now. What are you guys Free doing? Free from your shackles at once. Leave now! Please stop, I'm not possessed! That's what you want us to think, demon, but not on my watch. Leave now, TikTok demon! You are not welcome here! Free my this My mom boy. can be Free. overprotective at times, and I know that means that she cares. I just think she cares a little too much. M to the V, M to the V, M, 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 M to the B, boom, boom, boom. Mijo, ¿te lastimaste? No, mom, I'm just filming a TikTok. No, tu cuello está torcido. Toma. My neck is fine. I don't need that. All those neck movements are going to make you paralyzed. I'm pretty sure making a TikTok isn't going to make me paralyzed. No me contestes. No sabes ni de lo que estás hablando. Toma. I was just bobbing my head. As long as I live in a Mexican household, I'm never going to be able to make TikToks in peace. Boom, 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 let's go, take that. Oh, oh wait, get off me, stupid zombie. Ya, ya. ya callate. I'm trying to watch my novela and you keep on interrupting. Uh, uh, SVR is taking over your life. No, no, stop. ¿Sabes qué? Dámelo. Mom, stop. Dámelo. Wait, wait, what are you doing? Dámelo, mom. Get out. Get out. out. Get out. My name is Anthony and playing virtual reality in a Mexican household kind of sucks. I love virtual reality. It's like an escape from everyday life, but it's a little hard to do in my house because my parents always seem to get in the way. Mijo, no, 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 ¿Qué estás haciendo? I'm just playing Beat Saber, mom. No. You're doing brujeria, and I need you to stop right now. Mom, I'm not doing witchcraft. I'm literally playing a video game. No, I saw you doing hand gestures, and now you're gonna open a portal so evil spirits can come to mi casa. Now I have to call the church so Padre Cervantes can come bless the house. Thank you. Dios mío, Dios mío. My parents have a hard time understanding the concept of virtual reality. Every time they see me play, they always give me a hard time. All right, almost to the top. <laughs> almost there. Mijo, what are you doing? Have you gone crazy? 
Oh, I'm just rock climbing. What do you mean you're rock climbing? You're home. Well, I'm not physically rock climbing, but I'm climbing in virtual reality. But I thought those goggles were for video games. Yeah, you do play video games on here, but you can also do other things like rock climbing, flying, fishing. You can even go to like the casino. Okay, okay, okay. I don't get it and you're confusing me. Now take off the Nintendo and clean this room. It's messy. Well, this pigsty is actually your room. Are you talking back? <laughs> no, 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 baby. I love you more. I love you this much. <laughs> um, mijo? What are you doing? Uh, nothing. It didn't look like nothing. Are you watching things? You're not supposed to? What? No, dad. I was talking to my girlfriend. Girlfriend? I never thought I'd see the day. We've been together for a while now. I met her in the metaverse. So she's not real, she's a game. No, we met in a game and now we talk every day. So you haven't met her in real life? Well, not in real life, but we play together, watch movies, and we even have a virtual handshake. Dang, times are different now, I guess. Back in my day, I met girls at school, the store, and at the baile. If you like someone, all you have to do is buy them ice cream and boom, you're married. <laughs> Good times. So is that how you met mom? Oh no, I met your mom when she was dancing. At church. She's a good woman, your mother. But that's a different story. Get off the game and let's go outside so you can touch grass or something. This virtual reality is a virtual waste of time. My son spends hours on the game and he looks stupid with the goggles or whatever. And even worse, he says he has a job in the game? What? Is that local or okay? Ah, <sighs> another day working at the convenience store. <laughs> Man, I love my job. Mijo, ¿qué haces? Oh, uh, I'm just at work playing job simulator. Wait, you have a job? Well, I don't have a real job, but I'm playing a game where the purpose is to pretend that you have a job. Hold on, let me get this straight. You won't get a job in real life, but you'll play a game that's a job, but in the game, and you do it for no money? Um, yeah. Hijo de tu madre. I've been working outside under the scorching heat all day just to come home to my son playing a game where he's pretending to work. Make it make sense. But dad, you don't understand. I'm so close to getting promoted at this job. And I'm gonna promote you to heaven if you don't go to apply to real jobs right now. Okay, I'll go apply to jobs. I wanted my parents to get a better understanding of VR. So I decided why not let them try it out for themselves? Okay, so what do I do again? Okay, so you're playing a boxing game, so you're pretty much just gonna swing at the guy in front of you. Okay, that's easy. Oh, oh, okay, 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 dad, 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 stop. ¿Qué pasó? You, you know what? Maybe you shouldn't play this game. Why not? I was having fun. <sighs> All right, there's no way my parents find me in the garage. <sighs> Now I can play virtual reality in peace. All right, another day in the metaverse. Let's see, what should I do today? Hmm, I could probably go rock climbing or, oh, you know what, I'll eat a- I know what you wait, can do. Wait, is that my mom? That doesn't you make, wait, oh, can clean what? that messy room of yours. Mom, how did you get in here? What? You think you're the only one that knows technology? I, I'm I so found you in virtual right reality. Now. now I'm gonna give you a virtual nalgada. Ven pa acá. Ow, ow, Ven pa ow, 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 no, mom, toma, stop. Toma. Ow, ow, not cleaning your room and listening to me. Mom, that hurts my head. Toma, toma. This is $500,000. And if I can stay in this fridge for 24 hours, I'll win it all. Start the timer, Chandler. Hey, hey, hey! ¿Qué haces? Uh, I'm doing a challenge. ¿Qué challenge? ¿Qué nada? Salte de ahí! You're getting your booty juice all over the comida. But mom, I'm a famous YouTuber. And I'm gonna be more mad if you don't get out right now. Salte! Okay, hey, I'm getting Salte out. Salte ahorita! 
anything my mom can fit in this triangle, she can have for free. Hey, you guys, what are you doing in my store? ¿Qué pasó? Did you not ask this man for permission? Okay. I didn't think it would be a big deal. Yeah, you didn't think. You didn't think. I raised you better than Antonio. I do not like this. Ask the señor for permission ahorita. Okay, mom. Sir, is it okay if we film inside your store? Well, that's gonna cost you. How much? All of it. All of it? All of it. <sighs> Anything my mom can fit in this triangle, she could keep for free. Ah, espérate. Why is it so small? The last triangle was way bigger. Mom, the guy took all my money. I can't afford anything. Uh, the guy, I don't care. This is me. I want a bigger triangle now. Cut the camera. Cut the camera. Anything my mom can fit in this slightly bigger triangle, she can have for free. Start the timer, Chandler. Okay, okay. No, no. I already have beans. No. I don't drink water. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, yes. Out of the whole store, all you want is one pair of chanclas? See? That's all I need. Because you've been wasting my time. I could have been at church or, or chismeando with your tias, but no. You have me here wasting my time with this video. Hey, hey, cut, the camera, cut the camera, cut the camera, cut the camera. Go, 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 go. I'm going to pay my dad $10,000 for every time he tells me I love you. Really, mijo? That's it? I can do that. I love juice. I love tortillas. Mijo, I got this, I got this. I love chicharito. Mijo, why do you give me the hard ones? I love, I L-O-V-E. <laughs> I'm looking for the chupacabra, and if I could find him, I'll give him one million dollars. If we're able to successfully pull this off, this is gonna be one of the best videos ever. Antonio! ¿Qué haces aquí? What are you doing here? No, 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 no. What are you doing here? You're supposed to be home doing chores. We're making a video. We're looking for the chupacabra. Chupacabra? I'm gonna show you something scarier. I'm gonna la casa. I'm gonna la casa. And your friend, does your mom know you're here? Huh? Hey, ven acá. Ven acá. If my dad can eat all of these jalapenos, I'll pay him $50,000. Really? That's not even a challenge. A second grader can do this. <laughs> Oye, chandelier, start the timer. <laughs> okay, it's been five minutes. Let's see how my dad's doing. Wait, did you finish half of them already? <laughs> Mijo, I told you it was easy. This isn't a challenge. This is like candy to me. <laughs> All right, well, he still has 100 more to go. So let's see if he makes it to the end. <laughs> it looks like you're struggling a bit, Dad. Do you want to quit? Uh, mijo, quitting is for losers. And I'm not a loser like you. Bruh. Ta-da! Wow, you actually did it. Congratulations, you won $50,000. Oh. oh, yes. I can finally go see Bad Bunny. Yo perreo solo. Yo perreo solo. I'm Mr. Beast, and I'm going to pay this taquero $10,000 to quit his job. $10,000? Come on, this cart costs way more than that. Get out of here. What about for $50,000? OK, that sounds better. But have you seen current gas prices? I'll break even with inflation. And it's my nephew's birthday. I can't do that. I love my job. I'll never quit. Would you quit for $250,000? Oh, yes. Definitely. Oye, todos. I quit. <laughs> and I'm taking the food with me, too. <laughs> Are you burning down the house? What is going on? Ay, relájate por favor. I'm just asando el chile. I don't know what you said or what you're doing, but you need to stop it immediately because I have a pre-existing medical condition and this has affected me severely. I'm cooking. If the smoke affects you, then just go outside. Why are you being so aggressive towards me? I feel like I'm being attacked. How am I attacking you? You're the one who came down here. <laughs> you're triggering my anxiety. I, I need to leave. Hi, pobrecita. You're triggering my anxiety. Next time, mind your own business then. 
I just need to get a couple more two by fours and I'll be good. Um, excuse me, what do you think you're doing, muchacho? Not this gringa again. I'm building a shed. Do you want to help me? Absolutely not. But I do want to know if you have a contractor's license in order to build this shed. Listen, Karen, if I want to build a shed in my house, then I'm going to build a shed in my house. Entiendes? Well, if I don't see a permit, I'm going to have to call the police and I have them on speed dial. Oh, no, 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 no. What you need to do is call the police for the unseasoned chicken you made. It made me sick. That was my granny's secret recipe. It should have stayed a secret. What did you just say? Ah, the premise inside. If you want to see it, go find it. As a matter of fact, I will look for it. And you better hope I find it, hombre. I don't know why we rented a room to that crazy lady. Hey, um, I can hear your non-English music from my room and it's making me feel very uncomfortable. So I was wondering, could you maybe like turn it down or possibly even turn it off? Um, Karen, the music isn't even that loud. And plus, I'm in my room minding my own business with the door closed. Yeah, but um, I'm a renter in your house, so I have renter rights. Uh, whatever, Karen. If I want to listen to my music, I am going to listen to my music. Okay, okay, yeah, that's fine. I respect your decision, but you're giving me no choice now. Hey, guess this. Hey, no, hey, hey, guess this. If I can't understand the music, then I don't want to hear it. Estupida. <sighs> wow, mira nomás. These lemons look great. And best part of all, they were free. Um, excuse me. What did you just say? Uh, that the limons look great? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, you said they were free. How is that possible? Pues I got them for my neighbor's tree. <gasps> oh my. God, you what? Did you did you just say what I think you said? That is so unacceptable. You just stole from your neighbor. Ah, uh, no it's stealing. The limones were on my side of the fence, so that means they're mine. I don't know what they do where you're from, but over here there are rules and regulations, and let me tell you right now, what you just did is against every single rule and regulation I know. And let me tell you, I know every single one of them. Ah, uh, whatever, Karen. What are you gonna do? Call the police? <laughs> yes, officer, I would like to file a police report because I just caught someone doing a horrific crime. Ven paca, I'm talking to you. I said I'm talking to you. Open the door. Open the door right now. Ahem. <clears throat> Put that sandal down. Ah, mind your business. This is between me and my son. No, 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 no. This is between you and me now. Ah, tu callate. You want my son to do whatever he wants? Actually, yes. I let my little Johnny do whatever he wants, and he is an angel. <laughs> Mis nalgas. Listen, Karen, you don't tell me how to raise my kids. Or what? Or I'm going to do something I should have done a long time ago. Are you really threatening me? My brother-in-law is a police officer. I don't care. I couldn't believe what I saw. She was buying produce from a shopping cart. Maria, don't buy from that man. things all strong men should know. <laughs> Looks like this article's for me. Let's see what I need to know. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm sitting there minding my business, then Maria walks in causing a ruckus. Excuse me, can you lower the volume? Can you be quiet? I'm trying to learn how to be a stronger man. And I'm trying to dance. Ya callate. What does karate have to do with anything? I don't know why she said karate, but if she wants action, I'll give it to her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the who? 
the elotero is the man who sells corn. The man who sells corn? That sounds like a math problem. He sells them in his carrito. Just see for yourself. Why would I want corn from a random man? <sighs> These old bones ain't what they used to be. Maria, you know we got canned corn inside, right? Oh my but Jesus! I couldn't believe what I saw. She was buying produce from a shopping cart. Maria, don't buy from that man. Disculpalo, está loco. Maria, back away from that man. I'm calling my local authorities right now. He was holding Maria hostage. I had no choice but to call the police. You stay right there, muchacho. La policia is on the way. Siempre actúa así? Sí, es un gringo loco. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good thinking, Maria. You save that corn for evidence. I'll stay right here and handle this hombre. In this country, there's laws, and it's my civic duty to make sure that they're enforced. You're in for a world of trouble, buddy. I know you don't have a permit for this little operation. See, I do. But what about a food handler's card? Tambien. Do you pay taxes? Four times a year. Well, why do you sell from a shopping cart? Por que no? Because, because, actually, I don't know. I just never seen it before. Do you want an elote or not? Elote? I thought you sold corn. Elote means corn. Oh, well, no thank you. I don't want food from a shopping cart. Do you want it con todo? Con todo? What is that? An elote con todo has some butter, cotija cheese, a little lemon, mayonnaise. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you say mayonnaise? See, si, I covered the whole corn in it. Well, why did you start with that? I love mayo. I'll take one of those elotes, por favor. When I heard him say mayonnaise, I was showed. After all, mayo is the food of my people. You know, when you first came to the neighborhood, Maria was talking all kinds of crazy about you. Muy loca, but I tried to calm her down and tell her what a fine specimen you are. And look at you, you're doing a great job. Hey, uh, what's that red powder you're adding? Oh, I don't know how to say in English, but it's muy bien sabor. You'll like it. You wouldn't try to pull a fast one on me now, would you? No, 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 nunca, never. Okay, that's fine. I trusted you since the beginning, and I'm not gonna stop now. Tu elote está listo. Oh, well, it definitely smells very pungent, but like I always say, mama didn't raise no female dog. <laughs> what, what did you say this red powder was again? <laughs> oh, it's chili powder. It's what? This whole bray tried to poison me. My tongue is on fire. Why would you do that to me? <laughs> I've been nothing but nice to you. Ah, uh, no seas bebe. It's not that bad. Yes, it is. I've never felt such a pain before. It made me go into cardiac arrest. Oh, I can't feel my chest. <laughs> Holy moly, is this what hell feels like? <laughs> Maria, call the ambulance. I, I think I should go now. I don't want to get in trouble. If, if anyone asked, I wasn't here. Wait, don't you go anywhere. The police is on the way. Maria, is the ambulance almost here? Living in a Mexican household is putting a toll on my health, and I don't know how much longer I can last. <sighs> Another day of hating my life. My name's Ramon, and once again, I'm still quarantined in a Mexican household. Please help me. Thank you.
right? Unfortunately, not much has changed. I'm still cleaning 50 times a day. But last month, I did feel a little sick, so as a precaution, I quarantined in my room. I thought I'd get some much needed rest, but my mom had other ideas. Oh, feels good to just lay down and rest. Why is she FaceTiming me? Quarantining in my room? But I'm supposed to rest. Okay, I'll start. I am! What are you gonna do? Hit me through the phone? Oh, what was that? How'd you do that? And I'll do it again. Okay, I'll scrub harder. That was a rough two weeks. But once I was able to leave my room, I had a nice surprise waiting for me. More chores. One thing is doing chores, another thing is being excessive. This is excessive. Mom, no one mops outside. ¿Y qué? Nuestro patio va a ser más limpio de todos. Next thing you know, you're probably going to make me vacuum the grass. I just had to open my mouth, didn't I? One of the things I miss most from pre-quarantine is going out to eat. So recently, my dad tried to bring the dining experience to me. Okay, mijo, it's done. It's ready. Can I take the blindfold off now? I never said to wear one. And that's not a blindfold. Oh. Anyway, I know you've been wanting to eat out, so I made you your very own dining experience. Uh, it looks... Beautiful? I know, mijo. I worked very hard on it. Not the words I was thinking, but sure. Oh yeah! Here's the menu. It just says frijoles over and over. Yeah, es que tu mama, she said not to waste the good food on you and, well, this is all you get, so bon ti. Thank you, dad. Recently, my mom read online that phones are a major host for viruses and bacteria, so lately, she's been overly cautious. I like to pour a little bit of sauce on me. <laughs> Ramon, no uses el teléfono así. Why not? I already finished vacuuming the backyard. Eso no, no uses el teléfono sin la bolsa de plástico. Es mejor así. What is this gonna do? Protegerte de la bacteria que está en el teléfono. De nada. How am I supposed to use my phone like this? Mijo, mi compadre me dijo que la bacteria se puede pasar por la bolsa de plástico también. Toma, pon tu teléfono aquí. Mom, don't you think you're overreacting just a little? Pues discúlpame. I'm overreacting because I want my family to be safe. Para de discutir y pon tu teléfono aquí. Okay. What is the container supposed to do anyway? Disinfect my phone? No, lo voy a tirar a la basura. You're going to what? Every day in quarantine gets tougher and tougher. I feel like I lost all hope. Wait, no. I'm confident I've lost all hope. Ramón, es tiempo de aspirar la llave de atrás otra vez. Hey, Dad, have you seen my off-white sneakers? No, mijo, but I borrowed your yellow shoes. Dad, what are you doing? Those are worth like $10,000. Ah, calma, they're just shoes. Give them back. Hey, man, give hey, them back. Hey, 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 you creased them. them. No, mijo. Give them back, mijo. Oh, hey, 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 My name is Tim, and I'm a high beast still living in a Mexican household. You would 
think that after all these years of living with my parents, they'd understand my hype piece lifestyle, but they still don't. The hype piece gods better bless me. I need these shoes. <sighs> Mijo? What are you doing? You're never up this early. Oh, I'm on StockX trying to get the exclusive TCG sneaker drop. ¿Qué? The TCG Retro Reds. These are so clean. No one has them. Ay, mijo. You just love spending money on stupid things. I was hoping you would be up early to clean or, or get a job. That would be a milagro. This is my job. Why don't you understand that? No. Your dad has a real job. He goes and actually works hard, unlike you, who just sits there on a computer all day. Work smarter, not harder. ¿Qué dijiste? Nothing. Well, since you're on the computer, why don't you go apply to jobs? I will say my parents have been more open-minded in trying to support me, and recently, my dad has been getting really into reselling. $500? For a Supreme Brick? Ooh, now that's a steal. Oye, mijo, do you have a second? Yeah, what's up? You know how you sell shoes and make money? Well, I was thinking. Everyone on those sites are selling Skechers and Jordans. So why not be different? Okay, where are you going with this? Okay, okay, hear me out. What if you and me sold botas like these? Dad. I'm pretty sure no one would buy those. Estás loco! These are made of good quality, better material, and made of the design. Está chido! These will sell instantly. I can't list those. I'll lose my reputation. <gasps> okay, whatever. I'll do it myself. But don't come crying to me when I sell them for $1,000. <laughs> good luck with that. Thank you for your business. Hey, no refunds, eh? Get out of here. <laughs> I'm rich! Who is that, Dad? Oh, it was just a buyer for the botas I was telling you about. I made a good profit. Mira, mijo, you want half? Sure, thank you. Psych! <laughs> you didn't believe in me or the botas. So you can either cry now or later. I don't really care, mijo, because guess what? I'm rich. <laughs> Every time I step outside, I have to dress fresh. If I'm not the drippiest one in the room, then my day is ruined. It doesn't matter where I'm at. Tim, ya vámonos. We're gonna be late. Okay, give me a second. Hi, mijo. What are you wearing? Oh, I look valid, huh? Well, let me tell you. On my head, I got a Supreme Box logo beanie, and on my eyes, a Bad Bunny heart fire glasses. Both of them together, $500. On the torso, we got the Yeezy Gap. It just came out. Everybody wants it, mom. And this one is $300. The Gucci comes from Japan, about $1,000. And on the feet, unreleased off-white Jordan 1 Canaries worth $10,000. These you can't even buy in the store. Why are you wearing them, mijo? We're going to your cousin's funeral. Okay, and? I'm going to be the best dressed there. Where's the suit I got you? Eh, suit was kind of mid. This is way better. Mira, if you don't go up there and change right now, I'm going to go donate all your shoes and clothes to your cousins in Mexico. You wouldn't dare. Try me. <sighs> Fine. What am I gonna do with this kid? <sighs> Ay, Dios mío. Quítate! Mom, what are you doing? Those are my Yeezy slides. ¿Qué? I'm just killing some bugs. Those are my Yeezy slides. Yeezy slides? Ay, mijo. You know this. These are called chanclas. Those are going for $500 and you're using them to kill bugs? You spent $500 on chanclas? You could just go to the 99 cent store and get a pair for $2. Estás loco, okay? Whatever, mom. Just give me my Yeezys back. No. These chanclas are mine now. Now, quítate. Spending $500 on styrofoam. Híjole. <clears throat> I wish you were my son. <clears throat> my parents are trying to understand this hypebeast lifestyle. I just need to keep reminding them that 
This is who I am and who I'm always going to be, a hype beast. Hi, mijo, what are you doing? You look like the blueberry girl from Willy Wonka. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, look at your son. Mom, why do I have to eat this? It's freaking summer. No me importa. I don't care if it's 103 degrees in this house, you're gonna eat that caldo. Niño malagradecido. My name is Anthony. I'm from Fontana, California, and I'm spending my summer in a Mexican household. If there's one thing I hate more than stale Takis, it's living here during the summer. It gets so hot in here, sometimes I feel like I'm living in the devil's butt crack. Ugh, I'm losing my mind right now. It's way too hot in here to function. Ugh, that's disgusting. I don't care what my mom says, I'm turning on the AC. Hey, 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 who said you could turn on the AC? Because I did it. But it's really hot today. Can I please turn it on? Ah, Nux, I had it. It's not even that bad. Mom, look at yourself. You're drenched in sweat. Ah, it's not sweat. It's, uh, it's perspiration. That literally means the same thing. Tu callate. I said no AC, so no AC. I, I just need like 32 seconds of AC. That's it. Do you have AC money? A ver. You still can't turn it on. I do not understand how my mom can withstand the heat. And don't even get me started on my dad. It's like the hotter it gets, the more things he wants to get done. Lord, what have I done to deserve this punishment? I file my taxes every single year. What more do you want from me? Ihole, mijo, are you doing that thing with the freezer again? No, Dad, I'm just trying to cool down. Ah, oh, thank goodness. I'm still scarred from last time. Anyway, mijo, I need your help. With what? I need you to help me fix our fans, build an extra room, and replace the foundation on the entire house. What? It is way too hot to be doing all of that. Okay, and? These things still need to be done. But dad, it's summer break. I'm supposed to be relaxing. Yes, okay, okay. I've been working since I was four years old. Do you know what I did for summer break? Let me guess, you work 30 hours a day. Actually, no. Your grandma took me to a beautiful water park. I had the time of my life, but it was after I did my chores and helped out my dad. Now it's your turn, vamonos. If it gets any hotter, I'm gonna melt. Mijo, I know you always tell us about how hot it gets in the house, and well, I think I got a good idea. We could turn the AC on? No, I said good idea. Anyway, look what I got you, a mini fan. Mom, I'm pretty sure that two inch fan isn't gonna cool me down. Por que no? It's strong, mira. Ah, uh, see? It feels so good. It's fine, Mom. I'll just continue suffering down here. Ah, wait, you know what? I have a better idea. Ah, ya ves? I told you it was a good idea. As if the heat wasn't enough, my mom always has this great idea every summer to eat hot soup. Toma, tu favorito, caldo. Oh great, exactly what I wanted in this 110 degree weather. 120 degree soup. I cooked this all day, just for you. Thank you, mom. You shouldn't have. You really shouldn't have. You know I do it because I love you. Andale, try it. <laughs> Ugh, it's so delicious and refreshing. Ah, ya ves? I knew you would like it. That's why I got you seconds. What do you, what do you mean, seconds? Toma. Oh, wow. I'm the luckiest man in the world.
Can I have one birthday where my face isn't smashed into a cake? Just one. Ah, it's the best part. On the lake. Say cheese. My name is Anthony, and I'm having a birthday in a Mexican household. Birthdays are special, and Mexican birthdays are no different. That is until you realize that you're in for a rude awakening. Literally. Estas son las mañanitas que cantaba Rey David. Hoy por ser día de tu santo te las cantamos aquí. Good morning, mijo. We just wanted to sing you las mañanitas and wish you a happy birthday. Hope we didn't wake you up too early. Uh, well, I don't usually wake up at 7 a.m. on a Saturday, but thank you anyway. Dad, your guitar skills are something. Gracias, I've been practicing. Anyway, what do you want to do today? Well, sleeping in would have been nice. ¿Qué dijiste? Uh, nothing. I just want to be with family today. Ah, okay. Pues, we're going to make your day special. We have the whole day planned. Andale, get ready. Not going to lie, I'm a little scared for what they have planned. One of the great things about birthdays are receiving gifts. But sometimes the gifts my family give can be different. Come on, birthday boy. It's time to open up some presents. Here, open this one first. It's from your abuelita in Mexico. Aw, Grandma got me a gift? <laughs> Wait, it, it kind of smells like something died in here. Ah, uh, just open it. Oh, it's a block of cheese? It's queso from your grandma's rancho. She made it from her goat's milk. Okay, a little random, but that was very thoughtful of her. Open mine next. Andale. Oh, uh, a hammer. That's interesting and very thoughtful. I'll put this to good use once I know what that good use is. Thanks, Dad. Okay, now it's time for my present. Uno y dos. Why do you always have to get a better gift than me? Ah, tú cállate. Wow, these flowers are beautiful, Mom. I love the colors and how they pop. I knew you would love them. I got them from proflowers.com. They have a lot of great options to choose from and they even deliver them to our house. I want you to save them for your quinceañera. Thank you for the flowers, Mom. But I'm 27. I can't really have a quince anymore. Ah, see. Si. Another reminder that I still want a daughter. And I want Mexico to win a World Cup. But we can't always get what we want. Huh. Another one of my favorite Mexican birthday traditions are the piñatas. They're usually filled up with candies, but my dad fills them up with other things. Mijo, look what I got you for your birthday. Oh, you got me a piñata? Thanks, Dad. But why a pink one? Yeah, I'm sorry. It was the only one left at the store. But don't worry, I'm gonna fill it up with goodies. Oh, what kind of candy did you get? Candy? Que candy que nada. I'm gonna fill it up with job applications. You're kidding, right? <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. You're 27 years old now. It's time you help out around the house. Dad, come on. It's my birthday. The least you could do is just put candy in my piñata. <laughs> I already put a roof over your head, folding your mouth, and closing your back, and you're still asking for candy? Guess what? If you want candy, you go out there and you get a job and you buy all the candy you want. Okay, Dad, I get it. There's no candy. All right. Well, I'm gonna go put these job applications inside of here. And don't tell your mom about this. If she finds out I didn't buy you candy, she's gonna be mad at me. And of course, birthdays wouldn't be complete without a birthday cake. But in a Mexican household, the cake is sometimes used for different purposes. Okay, who wants cake? I've been waiting for the cake all day. Me too, I'm hungry. Do you want us to sing Las Mañanitas again? Uh, no, 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 it's fine. Once was more than enough. Okay, pues, don't forget to make a wish. Feliz cumpleaños. Que le muerda.
Que de muerta. Dad, come on. I'm too muerta. old for that now. Que de muerta. Que de muerta. Come on, guys. I'm not going to do muerta. that. Wait. Where's Dad? Here's Papa. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> Hi, Maria. I don't know what to do anymore. This kid is loco. Cállate! Te calmas or te calmo? Te voy a pegar! Where did I go wrong? Alright, Chai, you know me. I'm never getting scammed. You know, I'm smarter than that. Pete, we need to talk right now. Dad, I'm streaming right now. I don't care. Shut it off. We need to talk. Okay, let me mute it. Speed! I need you to clean! Your tío Jose and Ronaldo are coming! Ronaldo? Ronaldo's coming? See, mijo, they're coming tonight, so I need you to clean. Oh, my God. Why did you spend $500 on my credit card? Huh? Okay, I might have bought some packs on FIFA. Hijo de tu madre! Why do you do it? Dad, I'm trying to get Ronaldo! Hey, Ronaldo this, Ronaldo that! Stop talking about Ronaldo and stop buying packs! Entendido? Entendido. Oh, dad, oh, dad, oh, dad, oh, dad. Yeah, I know. But anyway, let's get some more packs. <laughs> Ronaldo's coming here. See, sí, mijo, so clean your room, clean my room, vacuum the bathroom, and sweep the whole house. Zoe! <laughs> Christian Ronaldo is coming here. The gold! Estás mento o qué? Your tío Ronaldo from Tijuana is coming. Not Cristiano. Hey, hey, calmate! No! One in Ronaldo, not my tío Ronaldo, one Christian Ronaldo! Yeah, ya me voy! I'll see you later, eh? Stop! I don't have insurance, you can't do that! Get a job or something! No! You're gonna kill her! What? Oh, you can't be serious! Speed, callate! I'm watching the season finale of my novela! Oh no! He's the cheater! Speed, por favor! If I have to tell you one more time, I'm gonna go up there and break that computer! Huh? Yeah, Chad, yeah, you can't be speed! Right now. Enough is enough! Right now. Oh my god! Uh, speed! Get us this! I'm trying to make it to the Premier League! Ah, be real! You suck! I'm better than you! No, you're not! I could have gone pro! You could have played with Christian Ronaldo? No, I could have played at Chivas! I was playing and then some guy tackled me and my knee broke into five pieces! And then I had you! Well, I'm gonna prove you wrong! Hijo de tu madre, your grandma's hurt! Oh, mijo, a quesadilla. Queso what? A quesadilla. A quesarito. Smells good, mom. Ooh. You be cooking, mama. Wait. <coughs> what's it doing to my tongue, mom? What, what, what? Mijo, it's okay. It has a little salsa. Salsa? salsa. There's people dancing in my tongue? No, no, mijo. <laughs> I don't want it, mama. Mi, mijo. Mama, I don't want it. I don't want it, mama. Let's go, Ronaldo. Come on, Ronaldo. We take it wrong. Yes, Speed! Callate! You're scaring Fidu Lice, my little baby. But I'm watching Ronaldo. I don't care. <laughs> it's okay. Stop doing that. Hey, 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 get away. Get away. No, no, get away. Hey! Oh, she has this. Hi. Mom, so I was winning. Why are you playing when your room looks like this? Doesn't look bad. Your room is messy, Mira. Don't ever say that name in my room ever again, mother. Calmate. Come on, chat. You guys heard my new song. World Cup. World Cup. World Cup. Mijo, speaking of World Cup, yes. I got you a gift. Mira. <laughs> the greatest player in the world, Messi. <laughs> Are you serious right now, chat? I don't see no Ronaldo. I don't see a seven. Messi's better than Ronaldo. He won the World Cup. Mijo. Yeah, a World Cup that was rigged. If I say clean, you clean. Understood? Call it. Ronaldo, and I'll clean it. Que? Call it Ronaldo, and I'll clean it. Your room is Ronaldo. I'll clean it. But I'm taking your toy. No, no! Ah! Ah! Ay, he's so weird. Ah! Hey, con cuidado, stop running. Ah! I got you now. How about you use your ninja powers to get out of this one? Oh, okay, mom. Okay, there, there, there. Stop. Okay. Uh, mom. I... My name is Anthony, and I'm a Naruto fan living in a Mexican household.
Watching Naruto so much has trained me to become a real ninja. And that's why I practice my jutsu every single day. But unfortunately, my parents don't really understand my lifestyle. <sighs> okay, I got this. Oh, yeah, mijo, do you want to go to. ¿Qué haces? I'm just practicing my hand signs. <gasps> I, where did I go wrong? My own son is a cholo. You can take those gang signs out of here. They're not gang signs. I'm practicing my summoning jutsu. No, 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 no. Do not lie to me. I know what I saw. You're overreacting. I'm just trying to summon myself a girlfriend. I'm kind of lonely, dad. Wes, he does need a girlfriend. But no, we raised you better than that. I don't want those gangster activities in mi casa. For the hundredth time, I'm not in a gang. I'm a ninja. Okay, and I'm Logan Paul. <laughs> Summoning jutsu? Why don't you summon yourself a job? Huh, that's actually a good idea. Minimum wage jutsu. <sighs> if I could, I would eat ramen with every single meal. Ramen is the main source of energy for ninjas like me. But my dad thinks otherwise. <sighs> hey, why are you eating? We just had lunch 10 minutes ago. I know, but it's important that I eat at least five pounds of ramen every single day. Five pounds of ramen, estas loco? Your cousins in Mexico have nothing to eat and you're over here being all wasteful and stuff? But dad, like, I'm a ninja. Ninjas have to eat ramen. <sighs> How'd you even pay for this? Ninjas don't have money. <laughs> That's why I used your credit card. You did what? You're wasting my money that I worked for? You're reminding me of your mother. Go upstairs. Go upstairs right now. Okay, okay. Ay, holy. I can't believe it. But uh, I can't waste this food, a ver. Mm. This needs some tapatio. A ver. And with this headband, I'm a real ninja now. Oh yeah, mijo, when you're done playing dress up, I need your help downstairs. Dad, for the hundredth time, I'm not playing dress up. I'm a ninja, this is how I dress. Ay, mijo, how can you be a ninja if we live in Southern California? Come on now. And besides, I saw that crappy outfit at the Halloween store. <laughs> Dad, this isn't from the Halloween store. I got it from my fellow Hokages in Japan. Hokage? I don't know what that means, but but it sounds nasty. So so stop messing around and come help me. To be the best ninja, you have to practice. And so lately, I've been practicing my shuriken throwing skills. And I would say I'm getting pretty good at it. <sighs> to be able to throw shuriken perfectly, I must channel the energy of the star. Uh, I, I think. <sighs> Please, ancestors, give me the power, skill, and strength to be able to throw this star perfectly. <sighs> I just released the baby uh, in there. Oh my God, Dad, are you okay? I have a knife in my stomach. What do you think? Um, I'll go call 911. Hey, no, it's too expensive. And besides, you're lucky because I always carry tortillas on my stomach. But why are you throwing knives? I was practicing my ninja skills? Well, you're not a very good ninja, are you now? Well, technically I am because I kind of hit the target. Don't get smart with me. You know what? How about I practice throwing now? Stay right there. I keep telling my parents I'm a real ninja, but they don't believe me. They think I'm just being weird. And um, recently, my dad found out firsthand. Híjole. These kids get weirder and weirder every year. I immigrated from Mexico to give him a better life, and this is what he does with it? No, ya me cansé. I'm going back to Mexico. Ah! Whew. Man, that run really does make you more aerodynamic. Hey, 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 hey! A donde vas? I was gonna go look for Sasuke. Sasuke? 
How about you saca la basura? But you don't understand. I have to... No. You're not going anywhere till you clean the living room, mop the floors, dust the TV, and, and just clean the whole house. Wait. I have an idea. Shadow clone jutsu! All right, guys. I need you to help me clean the house so I can go find Sasuke, okay? <sighs> Another day of work done. What the? What's up, Dad? What's up, Dad? What's up, Dad? Miho? What's up, Dad? Oh, man. I can't afford all this child support. I don't feel too good. Are you, Are okay, you okay, okay, Yo, what's up, YouTube? Y'all been asking for my mom, and I got her right here. Yeah, déjame en paz. ¿Qué estás haciendo? Por favor, estoy limpiando. Just go along with it for the vlog. Give black me. My name's Ramon, and I'm a YouTuber living in a Mexican household. I've been working towards this YouTube dream for a while now, but my mom still thinks that I'm just wasting my time. Yo, what is going on, Gorilla Gang? I have the whole day full of activities, food, more activities, and maybe even a clown. So don't forget to hit that like button hey, down. Hey, 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 donde crees que vas? I'm gonna go film a vlog. It's Saturday. Exactly, you should be doing chores. I can't, I need a film, I need content. Que content ni que nada. I need you to wash the dishes, take out the trash, and babysit your little brother. He's 26 years old, why would I babysit him? Ramon, tu bien sabes que a tu hermano le falta un tornillo. <sighs> Fine, there goes my day. Now it's time for a cancito. Ay, Mari, ya no aguanto este mocoso. No me deja en paz siempre. Ma, no hagas <sighs> Not again. Mira, no Mom, nada. please, I need it quiet. I'm filming an ASMR video. Ay, mijo, I'm so sorry. I didn't know. I'll be quiet just for you. All right. Well, thank you. What was that for? For telling your mom to be quiet, mocoso. Ay, ya ves, no, no, no. Recently, I started doing mukbangs on my channel, where I pretty much just eat a lot of food in front of the camera, but my mom has definitely made it difficult. So as far as the channel goes, I'm really hoping we could reach 50 million subscribers by the end of the year. I really think it's possible. Hey, 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 what are you doing? That's my food. ¿Y qué? ¿Tú eres el único que te da hambre en esta casa? No, but I'm filming a Taco Bell mukbang video. I need the food. ¿Me estás contestando? I'm not. I'm just trying to do my job. ¿Job? <laughs> okay, just take a little bit. Cuando hago de comer, ¿te digo que agarres poquito? Exactly. When you move out, you do whatever you want. Here's my house, my rules. And I'm taking some for your brother, too. I just want to be a freaking YouTuber, man. Part of being a YouTuber is getting gear to improve the quality of my videos. But as always, my mom doesn't see the vision. Mom, check out my new light. My videos are going to look way better now. Ah, se va a ver bien en el cuarto de tu hermano. Él necesita una luz. What? No, this is a camera light. It's made for filming. Es una luz normal. Dáselo a tu hermano. Él la necesita. No. I used my YouTube check to get this. No te lo ando pidiendo. Te lo estoy diciendo. They say if you have a job you love, you'll never work again. And I do love being a YouTuber. But damn, does my mom make it hard? No. Why do you need all the candy? I need to make sure the candy's safe to eat. You got that from strangers, mijo. Dad, I'm not a kid. You're not gonna trick me like that. How about a treat then? No, 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 it's all yours, it's all yours. No. My name's Ramon, and I'm spending Halloween in a Mexican household. <sighs> Halloween is special. It's the one time of year that you can be what ever you want, a vampire, ninja, rapper, or you can be like my parents and be too cheap 
to buy a real costume. Oh yeah, this costume's the one. For Halloween, I'ma be Shrek. Hey mijo, I need you to mop and sweep. Your tias are coming over today. Okay, let me just buy my costume first. Buy a costume? Estás loco o okay? That's a waste of money. But I need a costume for Halloween. Mijo, you know I could make the costume for you. Remember last year? Yeah. How could I forget? <laughs> I wanted to be Marshmallow the DJ, but you made me to an actual Marshmallow. Ya ves? And everyone liked it. No one liked it. They roasted me for four months straight and now I'm known as Fluffy Boy. See? But you're my Fluffy Boy, aren't you? <laughs> anyway, I made you another costume for this year. Really? Can't wait to try it on. So, what am I supposed to be? You're a beautiful Christmas tree! Christmas tree? I feel like a neon Statue of Liberty. One of the things I love about Halloween are the scary stories. There's stories about ghosts, others about monsters, and then there's the scary stories that my dad tells. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey mijo, what are you up to? Oh, I'm just watching the crazy gorilla. What's up? Oh, I was just wondering if maybe you wanted to hear a scary story. Not really, but let's hear it. Okay, okay. So one time there was a boy who went to a foreign land far, far away. He went to the land to work and make a good living for his family. How is this story scary? Callate, I barely started. Anyway, where was I? So when the boy started working, he found out about a big and scary monster. How did he find the monster? He would work every day very hard. And when he would get his paychecks, he found out that his money was missing. Someone or something was taking his money. After a quick Google search, he found out that the thing that was taking his money was taxes. Really, Dad? Your scary story was about taxes? Yes, they're one of the scariest things in the world. Every check, the government takes what's mine. And don't get me started on bills. That's another scary story. <sighs> I guess we have very different definitions of scary. Uh-huh. Andale. Well, maybe this year, Lupita should try being anything for Halloween but herself. <laughs> Hey mom, I'm one of the haunted mates with some friends. I'll be back later. Rosa, I'm gonna have to call you back. My son thinks he could do whatever he wants. Who did you ask for permission? I didn't. Ah, que bonito. For Halloween, you wanna be dead or what? You want a haunted maze? Okay, just go to your bedroom, it's the same thing. Scary, spiders everywhere, and it's hard to find your way out with how dirty it is. But. I just cleaned. Tu You're not going anywhere until that room of yours is clean. But it's already clean. Clean it again. Our house is gonna have the best candy on the block. Hey, ¿qué estás haciendo? Getting the candy ready for the trick or treaters. You want one? Yes. I, I, I mean, no. But but yes. But no. We're not giving away candy. What? Why not? Well, one more candy for me. And two, I don't want strangers coming to the front door. But that's what trick-or-treaters do. Yes, but we're tricking them into thinking that no one's home, so they go to another house. Treats stay here. Happy Halloween. Shh, be quiet. Why? It's just trick-or-treaters. Yes, exactly. We don't want them to know we're home. Honey, they turn off all the lights. Uh, sorry. No one's home. You know it's spooky season when you start seeing pumpkins everywhere. And most families like to carve their pumpkins. But my family likes to do things a little different. Hey mom, do you want to carve a pumpkin with me? Por qué? 
because it's a Halloween tradition. You carve it, then you put it outside as decoration. So you wanna waste a perfectly good pumpkin for decoration. Yeah, exactly. Hi, mijo. Your family in Mexico can barely afford to eat, and here you are wanting to waste food. Okay, mom, we don't have to carve the pumpkin. We could just paint it instead. Paint it? Híjole! Now you want to play with your food. In mi casa, we don't do that. All right, I don't need a lecture. So what am I supposed to do with this pumpkin? I don't know. Ask Jack. Who's Jack? Jack. Oh, lantern. <laughs> Halloween is fun and a day to let loose. But my parents make that hard. Next Halloween, I hope they decide to not be themselves. Just for that one day. I gotta go, Thea. The city is under attack. Hey, hey, hey! Where do you think you're going? I gotta go fight the Green Goblin. No, 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 no. You're not going anywhere till you clean that mess you made. But Green Goblin has people trapped inside of a bank. Ah, Green Goblin means nalgas. I spent all morning cleaning only for you to make a mess. And now I can't watch my novella. No, no, mijo. Ya me <sighs> I guess I'll go back to my room. My name is Peter Parker. The world knows me as Spider-Man. And I live in a Mexican household. Being Spider-Man is already tough. But being Spider-Man in a Mexican house is one of the hardest things I've ever done. For starters, my Thea tells everyone my business. <sighs> okay, Thea, thank you for understanding. It's important that no one knows who I am. Oh, me, who I know, I won't tell anyone. Your secret is safe with me. You know that. Thank you, Thea. That's a huge weight lifted off my shoulders. Spider-Man or not, you'll always be my little Pedrito. <laughs> All right, well, I have to go fight crime now. Okay, me, who I'll see you later. Wait, what are you doing? Hola, comadre. Guess what? I have some cheese to tell you about Peter. Thea, stop. You can't tell anyone. You said my secret was safe with you. Shh, I'm on the phone. Don't be a chismoso. Like I was saying, Pedrito is Spider-Man. El hombre araña. <laughs> Can you believe I raised you? No. <laughs> I'm sorry, Thea, but I told you not to say anything. What did I tell you about shooting me with your webs? But you were exposing me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care what I was doing. Now, instead of you going out to fight crime, you're going to fight me. What does that mean? I'll show you. Ven paka. Being Spider-Man unfortunately means I do leave my webs behind. But that doesn't mean every spider web comes from me. It looks like we live in a haunted house! Peter, come here! Hey, Uncle Benito, what's going on? I need you to clean up after yourself. I get that you shoot webs or whatever, but you're a grown man. You can clean up too. That wasn't me. Well, it wasn't your tia. She doesn't know how to shoot webs, and neither can I. So that leaves one person. Theo, that's an actual spider web from real spiders. No, 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 no. Do not lie to me. How can they be real? I've been spraying bug spray all over the house. What? You can't spray that stuff. You're going to kill me. Wes, don't leave your webs around and I won't have to spray. Now, clean it up. Yo, these guys are funny. I'm definitely going to give the video a like. Hey, Mr. Sark, what's going on? Okay, yeah, I'll be there for sure. I'll see you in a bit. Hey, ¿a dónde vas? Oh, I'm just going to meet with Tony Stark and the rest of the Avengers. ¿Con quién? No, I don't want you going out there to meet anyone. It's dangerous out there, mijo. But it's the Avengers. I'm pretty sure I'll be okay. Avengers? That sounds like a gang. Do I know their moms? No, you haven't met their moms. Then you're not going. But Thea, it's an important meeting. The world is kind of under threat. Have you ever heard of Thanos? I said no. Mi casa, mis reglas. Honestly, I don't even know if they have moms. 
Thanks for the ride, Uncle Benito. Uh, can you pick me up around 8 as usual? Ho hold on a second, Peter. I wanted to talk to you about something. Can we talk later? The city is under attack. No, no. We need to talk right now. I understand you fight crime or whatever, but you've been neglecting a lot of your personal responsibilities. What do you mean? When are you going to get a job, mijo? You're 18 years old and you're not doing anything with your life. I just fought Dr. Octopus last week. Cut me some slack. Si, mijo. But fighting these villains doesn't pay the bills. Me and your tia are struggling financially and we could really use your help. I'm sorry, Theo. I wish I could help more, but I feel like there's more important things for me to handle. See, that's your problem, Peter. You don't have your priorities straight. And that's why I signed you up for the circus. You did what? They pay $15 an hour and they even have flexible work schedules. Have you seen the price of V-Bucks? $15 an hour is nothing. Callate. That's 15 times more than you make now. Anyway, you start on Monday. <sighs> oh my God. Don't get me wrong, being Spider-Man is cool. I mean, I have super strength, can shoot webs, and even climb buildings. But sometimes, I feel like my aunt and uncle take advantage of me. Mira, listen closely. I need you to climb up the wall using your little magic tricks or whatever and change that light bulb up there. <gasps> Toma. Why can't you just use a ladder? <sighs> because that would require me to go find a ladder, get it, set it up, and that's just too much work. I'm lazy. <sighs> All right, I guess I'll do it. Oh, mira no mas. You know, I used to be able to do that when I was younger, back in the good old days. <laughs> hey, 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 que estas haciendo? Um, Uncle Benito asked me to change the light bulb. Pues, why isn't he using a ladder? That's what I told him, but he said he was too lazy to get the ladder. Snitches get stitches, eh? He's just lying. He doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> I just cleaned those walls, and now you're putting your dirty feet all over them. Yeah, sorry about that, Thea. Pero, since you're already up there, I need you to clean the top of the cabinets for me. I've been trying to clean them for years. <sighs> I guess with great power comes a lot of chores. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Hey asses, why are you so loud? And why isn't your room clean? I told you to clean it hours ago. I know, but I need to practice my spells, mom. I have a test tomorrow. Excuse me. Wingardium Leviosa. Oh, hey, hey, mijo, ¿qué haces? Put me down. Mijo, put me down right now. Vas a ver cuando me baje. Harry, put me down. Expelliarmus. Expelliarmus. Oye, Harry, you want to say something real quick? Sure thing, father. What is it that you would like to present? Check it out. It's the sword of hat. I've never heard of a sword of hat. Do you mean a sorting hat? No, mijo, like a sort of, guess it right. <laughs> Interesting. Where did you acquire such a thing? At the swap meet. Hagrid was selling them for $5. Swap meet? That sounds very uncivilized. Okay, stay still. Hmm, interesting. It is un huevo. Hey. I am not lazy. I mean, he's not wrong. Have you seen your room, Cochino? No, no, no. Let's try it again. Okay. You asked for it. Andale. I sensei. Estupido. I don't want to do this anymore. This head is nonsense. Hey, I did say it was sort of right. <laughs> See or no? <laughs> oh. Come on, Team Gryffindor. Let's win this one and get that golden snitch. Hey, mijo, what are you watching? Oh, it's the Quidditch World Cup. Gryffindor and Slytherin are playing right now, and the match is tremendous. Ah, uh, okay. But I want to watch the soccer game. It's Mexico versus USA. Come on, father. You always watch soccer. Let me watch Quidditch just this one time. Ah, uh, that's not even a real sport. I like football. Now, that's a sport. I beg to differ. Kicking a ball around is nothing compared to trying to catch a golden snitch. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I pay the bills, so I get to watch the TV. 
why don't you use your magic to uh, make a TV or something? Oh, Mom! Where is it? I'm going to be late! Mom! Hey, que quieres? Why are you screaming like that for? Mother, do you know where my Nimbus 3000 is? I'm going to be late for school. I don't know. It's probably with your other video games. It's not a video game. It's my magic broomstick. Oh, do you mean this one? Yes, that is the one. Why do you have my Nimbus? Pues I was using it to clean downstairs. The floors were dirty. Mom, you can't use my broomstick to clean. I use that to fly to Hogwarts. Brooms are made for cleaning. Que flying, que nada. That's not safe anyway. Whatever, Mom. Just give me my broom back. Hey, 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 hey. Talk to me like that again and I'll make you fly. Without the broom. Now, if you excuse me, I got some cleaning to do. Hey, que paso? Why the long face? You know who was bothering me again. Who was messing with my son? Dad, I can't say his name. Oh, was it El Señor Voldemort? Dad, stop. You can't say his name. Por que no? I'm not afraid of anyone. If I want to say his name, I'm going to say his name. Voldemort, Voldemort, Voldemort. I told you not to say it. Father, did you defecate yourself? Maybe. I think I'm still going. <laughs> Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Ay, mijo, don't be a huevon. Flip the tortillas with your hands. It's not that hard. But, Mom, I can't use my hands. I'm not built like you. You're built like, well, you're built like Hagrid. <laughs> Wingardium Leviosa. Oh, wow, mira eso. You made a tortilla fly. <laughs> My wizardry is getting better every day. Yes, I'm so proud of you. Now put that tortilla down and stop playing with your food. Híjole, I should have never adopted a wizard son. Harry, ven pa' acá! Yes, Father? Did you request my presence? Yes, I need your help. Come here. Our garage is broken, and Well, I need you to weld this piece right here for me. Use your little brujeria or whatever it is you do. Oh, I I'm sorry, but I don't know how to do such a thing. It's barely my first year of school, Dad. Then why am I paying so much money for your little magic school if you don't even know how to do magic? Well, you don't pay for my school. Tuition is free. And for your information, I do know some magic. Okay, then use the magic you know to fix it. All right, well, I'll try my best. Oculus Reparo. Oh, I seem to have fixed the garage. Oh, thank you, mijo, but... I can't see anymore. Can you call an ambulance now? Ay, Dios mío, let's go. I don't want to be late. Mom, late for what? Ay, for our flight. It was very expensive and I am not going to miss it. Our flight is even for another three days. I don't care. We can wait at the airport. Either you're going or you're staying. My name is Anthony, and I'm going on vacation with my Mexican family. Going on vacation in a Mexican house is never easy. And one thing about my family is that we never agree on anything, especially when it comes to vacations. Ooh, check this out. They have a giant water park with 30 different water slides and 17 pools. This looks awesome. Oh, mijo, you know I'm scared of water slides, but it does look fun. And you can even ride jet skis inside the pool. Well, how much does it cost? Oh, it's just $150 per person. Is that local? We are definitely not going there. Mira, there's other options. We can walk on the sidewalk, we can go window shopping, 
And I bet they got pretty little trees that we can sit under. <laughs> that doesn't sound fun at all. Ah, sure it is. One, it's fun. And two, it's cheap, mijo. Just the way I like things. <laughs> but we could do all those activities here. A vacation is supposed to be, I don't know, different. It is in a different place. So technically, it's different. <laughs> ¿Qué pasó? Did you figure out what we're doing for vacation? Not really. Dad just wants to walk around because it's free. Ooh, now that's a great idea. Sightseeing is my favorite. Can we please actually go do something? You know, be like tourists. Do you have tourist money? Eh? Okay, okay. I read online that there's a museum of lemonade and it's only $5 a person. Oh, great idea. Another fun and cheap alternative. And I do love lemonade, so that's a plus. Looks like you guys will have a great time. One of the most important things about vacations is budgeting, but my parents aren't really that great at it. Wow. Hey dad, a uh, quick question. Uh, wait, are you watching ASMR videos? Yes, they help me relax. ¿Qué quieres? Um, I was just wondering, since the vacation is coming up, what is our budget? Oh, that's a great question, mijo. I don't even know, but let's check. Ugh. Why do you have all these papers under there? Everything that's important, I keep under our bed. Mira, I got birth certificates, except yours. I got the will, I got marriage certificates, passports. I got todo. Wait, is that the basketball card I lost eight years ago? Uh. No, it's not. Dad, I just saw you pick it up and put it in your pocket. Ah, you're delusional, mijo. Anyway, I also keep our monthly budget here. You keep track of our family finances under a mattress? No wonder you're always stressed. It works for me, okay? Kind of. Well, for our vacation, the budget is uh, $60. For seven days? That can't be right. Let me check it out. It's blank. Okay, maybe because I haven't figured it out yet. Wait, is that my birthday money from the past 10 years? No, you didn't see anything. <laughs> no, I'm snitching. Another important thing that needs to be done for vacations is packing. And I don't know how they do it, but Mexican moms can fit anything into a suitcase. <sighs> Mijo, where's that scale I asked for? Sorry it took so long, mom. I wanted to see how much weight I would lose after going to the bathroom, and turns out I lost five pounds. <laughs> So how heavy can the suitcases be? They can't weigh more than 50 pounds each. Okay, go ahead and weigh it. Why is it so heavy? Hi, mijo. You need to exercise more. A hundred and twenty pounds. Mom, what do you have in here? Pues, just the stuff we need. Why are you taking tortillas, your homemade salsa, and dumbbells? Well, I don't know if they're gonna have good salsa over there, and the dumbbells I need for my workouts. Since when do you work out? I since yesterday? I don't need to explain myself. Now, put my stuff back how I had it. What about the extra weight? Ah, that's why I'm working out. Don't be rude. No, mom, I'm talking about the suitcases. And why is that one covered in saran wrap? Hi. It's called fashion. I don't know why, but when we go on vacation, my parents always want to go to the airport extremely early. Ya levántate. <clears throat> it's time to leave. <clears throat> right now? Yes, get up right now. Because if I leave, you're just going to stay there sleeping. Okay, okay, but I need a pack still. You still haven't done it? I told you to pack yesterday. Wait. 
why are we leaving now? The flight isn't for another three days. Ah, because we need to go to the airport. I'm not missing our flight. We live 10 minutes from the airport. I'm pretty sure we'll get there in time. No, we need to leave now. Hurry up and get your things. But mom, that's- No, but mom. Do it and let's go or else we're leaving without you. <sighs> what are we gonna do at the airport for three days? Hey, are you ready to go? Your mom isn't kidding, eh? She'll really leave you. Trust me, I know firsthand. <laughs> I'm gonna get ready right now. I don't understand why we're leaving so early though. It's dumb. Mijo, you need to be more understanding of your mom. This is a big trip for all of us and she just wants everything to go smoothly. You know, we didn't always have the means to travel. What do you mean? We worked hard to make this happen. We saved up to make sure everyone has a good time. It's a privilege to travel, mijo, and we're just happy that we get to do it with you. You remember that one time I missed your game, right? Well, I was working overtime to fund this trip. And, and your mom, she was selling things online that also helped. I didn't know that, Dad. I'm sorry for acting how I did right now. It's okay. Just know, although your mom's been acting a little, you know, she's just acting like that because she wants us to have the most perfect vacation. You're right, I should be more understanding. But you gotta admit, leaving three days before is way too early. Well, we did pay a lot for those flights, so... I'm with your mom on this one. We're not gonna be late. Vamonos! Ooh, these are fresh. Tim, why does it say that I'm missing $20,000 from my credit card? Oh, Dad, I had to buy the Air Force One Louis Vuittons. Why would you do that? Let I'm gonna give you $20,000 for those guys. Ah, ah, oh, 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 I see. <sighs> Tim, apurate. We're gonna be late for Misa. Okay, okay, I'm ready. Hi, we're going to the Lord's house, not the club. Why do you have so many chains? What do you mean? I gotta be all iced out for the church girls. Hi, those girls are called nuns. And why do you have a backpack? You're not going to school. Dad, this isn't just any ordinary backpack. It's a $1,000 limited edition spray ground backpack. Ha, yeah, 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 I don't care. Go inside and change. I'll be waiting in the car. Okay, I'll go put on my Gucci scarf then. Not that one either. Why would you spend $20,000 on a plain shoe, mijo? Dad, they're not silly shoes. They're Louis Vuitton's first collaboration with Nike. Mijo, look, it's just a white shoe. They look like those plain Vans. This is the most popular model, the Air Force One. Yes, yeah, si que, it's okay, okay, mijo. What are you gonna do with those shoes? Are you gonna sell them? I can post them on my Instagram. Ay, mijo, be real for once. You have 30 followers. No one's gonna see those shoes. Your mom gets more Facebook likes than you. Yes, but I'm trying to be an influencer. Trying, trying, trying. $20,000? Mijo, how am I gonna pay the mortgage for this house? But I hope you're happy. Dad, but I, who needs a house anyways when you have Louis Vuitton sneakers? What'd you say? Eh? What did you say? Give me the shoes. No, no Dad, please. Yeah. No, Dad, yeah. Dad, yeah. ah, 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 ah. Mijo, ven pa' acá. Look what I did for you. What's up, Mom? I washed your shoes. Look how clean they are now. Mom, you can't wash my shoes. You ruined the suede on them. Ah, you were such a mother agradecido. I spent all morning cleaning these shoes and you can't even say thank you. Why am I gonna say thank you if you just ruined $5,000 worth of shoes? Ah, so $5,000 is more important than a mother's love. Mom, that's not what I meant. No, it's okay, it's okay. Take your shoes. I'll be in my room crying. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, she actually did a pretty good job. Whew. These Ben and Jerry's are clean. Mijo, I have an idea. All right, Dad, what is it? Let's trade shoes. I have a pair that I know you don't have in your collection. Dad, stop. Is it the new Jordan 11 Cherries? No. It has to be the, the DJ Khaled 5s. No. Dad. The Amamanyar 4s? Tampoco no. I have something better. 
I have the Waraches 5000. Dad, those are not hype at all. <gasps> Como que no? Mira, it has black leather, brown leather, a beautiful design. Mira, the sole is made of actual tire. It has grip, mijo. And the best part is, it's handmade. Honestly, Dad, those shoes are ugly. No, your shoes are ugly. It looks like Crayola Kistakawan, and it was designed by a two-year-old. These are beautiful. So do you want to trade or not? Honestly, Dad, I'm okay. Okay, okay. You are gonna regret it. Whatever you say, Dad. Mira, I don't know what they are. They're Air Force Juans, Luis, Veronica, I don't know. If you want the shoes, come over right now and they're all yours. Okay, deal. There they are. Dad, what are you doing with my Louis Vuittons? I just sold them. I'm getting some of my money back. You sold them? For how much? 30,000? <laughs> no. 25,000? I wish. Well then how much? $100. I mean, can you blame me? Look at the shoes, they're ugly, mijo. No way, that's way too cheap. Give them back, it's Dad. Late, mijo. Give them back. It's too late, I sold them. I can make 30,000 off of them. Hi, Tim. What are you doing now? I'm fixing my Gucci scarf. More like a Fucci scarf. And how much did that one cost? Dad, you're gonna love this. I got it for a steal. It was only $500. $500 for a rag? I've seen better looking scarves at that 99 cent store. Yeah, but it's not Gucci. Gucci or not, that's ugly, mijo. Why would you put that on? It doesn't matter if it's ugly, it's Gucci. <sighs> and where are you going wearing that anyways? Me and my friends, we're gonna go take some Instagram photos. Hijole. Back in the day, me and my friends used to cross a river just to go to school. Have fun with your Fuchi. Estas son las mañanitas. Happy birthday, mijito. Oh, mom, you didn't have to give me a gift. Anything for you. Mom, there's no way you got me the Ama Menir Jordan 4s. I've been wanting these for at least like three days. Mom, what are these? Jordans, mijo. There's an S. They're Skechers. No, it's Jordan Supers, mijo. <laughs> Enjoy your shoes. But they're not even high. Oh, mom. Callate! I'm trying to watch my football. Go come come somewhere else. My name is Anthony, and I'm a Dragon Ball Z fan living in a Mexican house. My parents don't even try to understand my passion. They don't even know what a Super Saiyan is. Everyone knows what a Super Saiyan is, right? All right, that's it. I'm gonna fight you with everything I got. Ah, 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 ah! Hey, 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 get the pasta. Are you okay? Dad, I told you not to interrupt me when I'm going Super Saiyan. I was almost there. Equally. I work all day under the scorching sun just to come home to my jobless son telling me what I can and can't do. Oh no, not in my house. I'm just asking you to be more considerate. I never interrupt you. Yeah, I wouldn't call what you do interrupting. I call it annoying. That's a lie, I am not annoying. Yes you are. See? Anyway, what are you doing? Why do you sound like a dying goat? No I don't. I'm just trying to go Super Saiyan. Oh, watch. Ah, ah, ah. Pobrecito. I dropped him way too many times on his head. Oye vieja, I think you need to call a priest. I've dedicated pretty much my whole life looking for Dragon Balls. And surprisingly, Mexican moms are actually pretty helpful when it comes to that. Where are the Dragon Balls? They're supposed to be right here. I should have known getting a radar from Amazon was a bad idea. Hey, 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 get the pasa. Why are you crying? I'm not crying. I'm trying to find my missing Dragon Ball. Have you seen it? Ah, you and your toys. Have you checked your room? 
I bet it's under the pile of clothes that you still haven't cleaned. No, I, I cleaned it when you told me to. Yeah, okay. I've heard that one before. So, can you help me find my Dragon Ball? I really need it. And what do I get when I find it? Uh, I don't know. Uh, a happy son? Ah, I'm still waiting on you to make me a happy mom. Pero okay, I'll find it right now. Mira no mas. You never move things around. You just look for it like, uh, and give up and wait for me to find it. Mom, I swear when I looked in the backpack, it was not in there. Oh yeah, just like you swear you're looking for a job. I can't wait till I get all seven Dragon Balls because I'm wishing for a new mom. I heard that. Since my parents don't watch Dragon Ball Z like I do, they have a hard time understanding the culture and the lingo. Hey! ¿Qué te pasó? Do you need some vaporu? No, it's fine. I'll be okay. Who did that to you? Don't tell me it was that guy Fajita that you always talk about. Do you mean Vegeta? That's what I said. Fajita. Vegeta. Fajita. Vegeta. Fajita with a fa. Vegeta with a V. Fa, 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 fajita. Fa, 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 Vegeta. Yes, fajita. Okay, okay, whatever. You're right. But no, it, it wasn't him anyways. I was training in the hyperbolic time chamber and I slipped and fell on my face. What is a hyperbolic time chamber? It's a training room where time moves faster. A year in there is equivalent to only like a day in real life. Mijo, are you using... Substances? What? No, Dad, I'm just training. <laughs> training. Is that what the kids are calling it nowadays? How about you train for a job? Because you desperately need one. I know I don't have a job. You remind me every five minutes. And I'm going to continue to do so until you get one. Anyway, I'm gonna go make some fajitas. Do you want some? Sure. Kamehameha! 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 Hey, ¿qué haces? Well, I'm trying to turn it on with my Kamehameha. Well, it looks like you're gonna be there for a while then. Wait, mom, why are you eating my sensu beans? No, I'm eating frijoles. Those aren't just normal frijoles. Those are my sensu beans. Ah, whatever. Beans? are beans. But mom, you're not supposed to eat more than one at a time. Ah, por que no? Because that happens. Ay, con permiso. Necesito el baño. Ay. Oh. <sighs> Kamehameha! I don't think my Mexican parents will ever understand my passion for Dragon Ball Z, but they're just gonna have to get used to it. How many times do I have to tell you to shut up? Dad, I told you to stop interrupting me when I'm going Super Saiyan. And I told you to shut up when you're being annoying. You are always annoying. Well, I may be annoying, but at least I don't have a, a bad tan line. You shut up. You know I'm self-conscious. That's why you're adopted. What do you mean I'm adopted? Uh-huh. Your mom wanted you, but I begged her. No, no, no. Do not get that child. And what did she do? She got you and she ruined my life. Dad, are, are you serious? Don't call me dad. I am not your papa. You are short and a loser. My son would be big and strong like me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Poor K, it's called using Tupper wear. Frank se queja mucho. He better stop or else.
Yo guys, real quick for the premiere of our new show, we have to give a shout out to our people at Raycon for sponsoring this video. Raycon earbuds are quality wireless earbuds that start at about half the price of any other earbuds on the market. Their everyday E25 earbuds are their best model yet with up to 6 hours of playtime, more bass, seamless Bluetooth pairing, and a carrying case that can charge the earbuds 4 times in a single charge. Not only that, but they're also stylish and discreet and come in new and fun colors. These Raycon earbuds do a great job of blocking out sound so I've been using them every Saturday morning so I don't have to hear my mom's music when she cleans. If you live in a Mexican household you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> anyway they're great for listening to your favorite music, podcasts, for working out and working from home. So if you would like to buy a pair of Raycon earbuds go to buyraycon.com slash crazy gorilla or click the link in the description below to get 15% off your order. With all that being said I hope you guys enjoy the new show. Oh, home sweet home. My name is Frank, and I'm currently renting a room in the Lopez residence. Ever since I moved here, it's definitely been an adjustment. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm grateful for the Lopez family for taking me in, but I'm starting to think that it was a mistake moving here. Time for a little snacky snack. Oh, what's this? I wanted a snack, and I saw the cookie tin, so I said, why not? But that's when I saw the most hideous thing I have ever seen. So, Mr. Plush, what kind of blasphemy is this? Is this some sort of sick joke? ¿Qué pasó? Why are you screaming? I came into the kitchen and all I see is Frank panicking. Yo pensaba que le iba a dar un ataque al corazón. Someone in this house pranked me. They switched out the cookies for so much supplies. If I don't eat cookies soon, my blood sugar is going to be lower than... than a groundhog. Frank, calmate. I was the one who put the sewing supplies in there. I can't believe she would do such a heinous act like that. I trusted you. Why would you prank me? Frank, it's not what you think. I know, because it's what I see. And I see so much supplies in a cookie tin. Is that menso or qué? I think his medication is getting to him. What kind of sick lifestyle do you live in? Well, you think this is okay. Cookies belong in cookie tins. I know, Joris. There's cookies in the cabinet. I don't want cookies anymore. I'm going to make some toast. <sighs> Can't believe this woman. Who does such a thing? Oh, oh my God. Just when I thought that it couldn't get worse. Why is there salsa in the butter container? Now you're really messing with me. Relájate. Don't call me names. I haven't said anything disrespectful yet. I put the salsa in the butter container. May I ask why? Por qué no? Por qué? It's called using Tupperware. Frank se queja mucho. He better stop or else. Why are you putting things where they don't belong? Now you got me all confused and mad. I don't like this feeling. Stop exaggerating. It's no big deal. You get used to it. It's not a hard concept. Put things where they belong. Easy. Frank, it's my house. My rules. Now callate. Okay, okay, just relax. Don't tell me to relax, you're the one complaining. I'm just saying, next thing you know, I might just find something in the oven. I found something in the oven. What kind of household is this? A Mexican household? Have you ever heard of a pot rack? Unbelievable. The Lopez family, they're good people but it's gonna take a while for me to get adjusted to their lifestyle. This one year lease is gonna take a long time. LeBron, get that pasta! Look at the mess you 
you made? There's dust everywhere. Wait, but mom. Oh no, oh no. You better clean this mess up right now. Okay. Hey, watch out, I'm eating. I'm eating, watch out. Ah, 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 the oh, 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 my knee. You're in big trouble. Mom, you don't understand. This is my pregame ritual. Like, this is what I do. Inside the house, really? Mira, there's dust everywhere, mijo. You have to dust that. I want you to mop. Oh, mira, there's dust way over there. Que bonito. Why are you looking at me like that? Ah! Ah! <laughs> Mijo, what do you want to eat? Taco Tuesday! It's Wednesday, pero okay. Lebron, ya sacaste la basura? Mom, how are you going to make me take out the trash? I'm Lebron James, aka the king. You think you're the best? <laughs> Jordan is the best, okay? Michael Jordan, eh? Entendido? <sighs> These days just get harder. Oh! Oh! Cuidado! I don't have insurance! Oh, oh, my knee, ah. my knee. Oh. I, I didn't even touch you. You do that all the time, you always pop. Oh. No, you're this. Oh, you, you wanna cry? I'll give you something to cry about, eh? I'll give you something to cry about, eh? No, get out of here. Get out of here. Go cry somewhere else. Get these days. I see. And he called himself the king. There's only one king, and that's Vicente Fernandez. Ah! Ah! I told you to stop dribbling on my floor, eh? And you don't listen. But dad, I, I need to practice if I want to be one of the goats. Goat? Why would you even want to be Birria? No, goat is like, like one of the greatest of all time. Well, that's not you, obviously. You need to practice, right? A lot. Like, mijo, if you want to dribble on my floor, you give me what it costs. I paid $15,000 for this flooring. So if you want to dribble, go ahead and pay. That's what I thought. Now that's a good answer. You're the goat at giving up. All those señores at the mercado are gonna love me. Ah! Te calmas o te calmo, Lebron? <laughs> He's so scary. Ay, Dios. I'm going to church. I pay for this so I could dribble. What? My house, my rules. You're not even doing it right. Show me then. <laughs> okay. There's no doors or no hoops. I should be safe here. No. No! Ah! Ah! Please, stop! I'm LeBron James, the king. I'm LeBron James, the GOAT! Okay, Nico. You are the GOAT. Birria? <laughs> ah! Hey, is this straight? I'm talking ow, to you. Ow, ow, ah, ow. no exaggerates. You're always exaggerating. I barely touch you. Ah, back straight, back straight. Chin up. Hey, I don't want your mom knowing about this, eh? I barely tap you. Mira, mira. Papa loves you. I would never hurt you, eh? So is this straight ow, or not? Ow, ow, Híjole. Yeah. Lebron, how many times do I have to tell you not to dribble these ball, eh? I spent all morning mopping, and what do you do? You bring this nasty ball and dribble all over. Mom, come on, I gotta practice. Get practice, get nada. When you have your own house, you could do whatever you want. Pero mi casa, mis reglas. No more dribbling. Ah! Ah! All you do is dunk. Go clean your room. Life's good. I'm not supposed to be here. I'm just a kid from Akron. <laughs> you're a kid from Tijuana, way. <laughs> and you think you're a kid? Ay, Dios. You're almost 40. <laughs> a kid? Mentally, you're a kid. Okay, okay, okay. Stop, stop, mijo. All right, Mom. I'll see you later. Hey, ¿a dónde vas? I'm going to a game. Did you ask me or your papa for permission? No, but... Okay, I... then you can't go, mijo. <laughs> But it's literally the NBA Finals. I have to be there. And this is the final time I say this. You can go. So if you want to see the game, go upstairs and watch it. You can't be serious. Oh, I'm very serious, mijo. The game's on TNT. <laughs> Enjoy. Coach is not going to believe this. Ah! Ah! 
Oh, I thought you were gonna dunk on ah! Sana, sana colita de rana. Si no sana hoy, sana mañana. Mijo, no. Stay right here. I'm gonna go get the vaporu. Ay, Dios mío. Oh, yeah, 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 mijo, no. Mijo, mijo, we don't have any vaporu. Mijo, mijo. My, my shoulder's broken, mom. No, mijo, no. I'm sorry, mijo. I'm sorry, mijo. I'm a horrible mother. Go. Dribble the ball. Dribble the ball, mijo. I, I can't, mom. Just dribble the ball, mijo. Mira. Mom, I'm paralyzed. No. Por qué? <sighs> I've never seen anyone clean this before. My mom is just torturing me at this point. Hey, mijo, are you almost done? There's a lot more chores to do. Yes, mom, I'm almost done. My name is Anthony, and I'm on spring break in a Mexican household. Spring break is supposed to be a vacation. You know, having fun and sleeping in. But, of course, my mom would never let that happen. Who do you know how much Alina is? She's such a mocosa like her mother. Mom, can you keep it down? I'm trying to sleep. Get it. I'm trying to sleep and you're being a bit loud. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know I was bothering you. Disculpa me. Thank you. I just want a little extra sleep. Is that too much to ask for? Mom! Hijo de tu madre! If you don't want me to vacuum, then you come do it. Right now! Spring break is one of my favorite times of the year because I get to hang out with my friends and do fun activities. Oh wait, that's right. My mom doesn't let me. Hey, where do you think you're going? I'm gonna go watch a movie with Michael. Ah, a movie? ¿Y quién te dio permiso? Cause I know you didn't ask me. Permission? Did I stutter? N no, but mom, I'm on spring break. ¿Y qué? Spring break? Mis nalgas, eh? You still have to ask for permission. Okay, well, can I go to the movies with Michael? Mm, no. What? Why not? Porque this casa is in a hotel. You can't come and go as you please. And you, you didn't take the dog out for a walk last night. Next time, do your chores. That's not even a dog. That's a robot vacuum. <sighs> Mom, what is the point of washing in the sink? We have a washing machine. Por que no? That's how we used to do it in Mexico. Okay, but we're not in Mexico. We're in America and it's 2021. There's this thing called technology. But technology doesn't build character. I don't care about building character. I just want to enjoy my spring break. A ver, I want to see how clean it is. I still see some caca stains. Scrub harder. Don't get me wrong. My mom doesn't take all the blame for my miserable spring break. My dad also makes me do pointless things. Dad, I was not planning on holding a flashlight for my spring break. And I wasn't expecting to wait an entire lifetime for a grandson. When are you getting married, by the way? I already told you, I'm focusing on school right now. Ah, uh, when I was your age, I was already married with three kids. Three kids? But I'm an only child. Uh, yeah, yeah that, that, that's what I mean. Uh, go get me the whatchamacallit by the two bucks underneath the papers. What thing? You know, the thing I asked for when we went to your tios to fix his car, and it was next to the baby carriage but underneath the whistle? That's the thing I need. I have no idea what you're talking about, Dad. Hi, mijo. Aren't you in school for engineering? You should be smarter. No, I go to school for art. Oh, well, that explains why you're a little... What do you mean by that? Nothing. Never mind. Just keep holding the flashlight. You can't mess that up. I'm young. I'm supposed to be enjoying my spring break. 
but instead I'm just doing chores. Hundreds of them. Actually, thousands. Please, send help. You're gonna feel so much better. Trust me, a little bit goes a long way. If that's a little bit, I don't wanna know what a lot is. Esa mocosa, esa mocosa tenía algo. Sospechaba, lo sentía en mi espina. Ay, gosh darn it. I really hurt my back last night. I knew riding that mechanical bull was a bad idea. Hey, Maria, I'm gonna go get some food. Do you want something? Hello? I don't think Maria cleans her ears very well. She has terrible hearing. Maria, I'm talking to you. Cállate, I'm watching my novella. Okay, okay, relax. I was just trying to be nice. Oh, oh. I don't know what happened, but I guess I stepped on something that made me lose my balance. Maria, help me, I'm a fall. Maria, please. Oh. Yo no sé por qué andaba gritando. No más ocupaba bajar un pie. Oh. Oh. I fell down at least 50 feet down the stairs. I was in excruciating pain. Frank, why are you being dramatic? Oh, take me to a hospital. I don't think I'm gonna make it. You fell down one step. No, for reals. I need immediate medical attention. I'm running out of time. I can feel my soul starting to leave my body. Yo no sé por qué andaba llorando. Nomás se cayó ocho pulgadas. Es un chillón. I think I broke my leg in five places. It hurt so bad. Frank, you're fine. I'm not fine. I'm going to be paralyzed. It was nice knowing you, Maria. I'll see you on the other side. Ah. Well, what are you doing? You're killing me faster. If you were paralyzed, you would not have felt that. Okay, but I still want to go to the hospital. You don't need the hospital. You just need Vaporu. Every time I talk to her, she starts speaking crazy, saying random words. Vapo what? Vaporu. What the heck is this? It's Vaporu. You can put it on your leg. The only thing this is gonna do is make a mess. Frank, trust me. In Mexican households, this fixes everything. What do you mean, everything? Remember how the fridge was broken last week? Yeah? What about it? I fixed it by rubbing some Vaporu on it. What? That's not possible. I don't believe that for one second. Then why does the fridge work now? That doesn't even make sense. Maria has started to lose her marbles. She's going a little cuckoo if you ask me. When I was younger, I had a broken heart. I rubbed some vaporu on it and I was happy again. Okay, you really expect me to believe that? Yes, I've been using this stuff for years. Or you can continue to be in pain up to you. Okay, fine. Put them on me. It can't make things worse, right? You're gonna feel so much better. Trust me, a little bit goes a long way. If that's a little bit, I don't want to know what a lot is. You literally scooped out half the bottle. Ah, don't be a chicken. I use this on my kids. You're about to feel like a brand new man. Uh, you know what? I think I'm just gonna ride out the pain. Thank you, though. Oh, no. You interrupted my novella. I'm not going to let that happen again. What, what do you mean by that? I found out exactly what she meant by that. Bored. 
Why does it feel like I'm forgetting something? <gasps> the chicken in the freezer! <gasps> this is taking too long. Hey, sis. Washing dishes. And what did you put behind your back? <sighs> I forgot to defrost the chicken. Ay, niño. What have you been doing for the past five hours? I've been cleaning the house, doing some other chores. Taking out the chicken might have slipped out of my mind. Well, if you've been cleaning all day, why are the dishes dirty, the floor sticky, and the laundry not folded? I also played video games for a bit. Why have you been lying to me? Well, I don't want you to get mad at me, like you always do. Well, now I'm even more mad at you. One, for lying to me. Two, for not taking the chicken out the freezer. And three, for your attitude. Sorry, not sorry. It won't happen again. Hey, Darman fam. As you can see, Saul was lying to his mom, and that's a big no-no. Remember, whatever happens in the dark always comes to light. The lesson here is that if you're gonna lie, make sure you don't get caught. Okay? No, that's a horrible lesson. Don't teach my son that. Lady, please, don't worry about me. Worry about feeding your son. Ah, you should be worried about my chancla hitting your face. Oh yeah, these are good. <laughs> hey, stop bouncing the ball inside the house. <sighs> Fine. Ugh, Dad, what's that smell? Oh, my enchiladas. Do you want some? No. That looks disgusting. It looks like you're eating vomit. Que te pasa? This is your mom's special recipe. Where'd she find that recipe? The trash? Calmate. I thought you loved enchiladas. No, I prefer actual food, like chicken nuggets, hot dogs, and fries. Híjole. Hey, why are you barefoot? Your mom and I have told you countless times to put some slippers on when you're inside the house. But this is more comfortable. And I can do this. Stop doing that and go put some shoes on before you get sick. Come on, Dad, you really believe that? It's just a myth. <laughs> it's true. One time, your tío in the rancho was walking barefoot and he got sick for a week and he almost died. He was probably faking it. There's no scientific study, no logical correlation between walking barefoot and getting sick. There's a reason you didn't go to college, dad. Hey, Darman fam. Saul is not only disrespecting his culture, he's also disrespecting his parents. And that's not cool. His dad didn't go to college because he had to work to support Saul. Remember, always listen to your parents. Subscribe if you agree. Hey, you too. You're walking barefoot inside my house. How about you practice what you preach? Look here, buddy, I don't have to listen to you. You're not my dad. Oh, I'm not your dad. But I'll show you who's papa. Okay. Why are you subscribed to the crazy girl Shrek 2 is one of the greatest movies of all time. <laughs> hey, ¿qué haces? I'm turning the heater on. I can't send this cold anymore. Ah, I told you not to touch that. We don't need a heater. Just go get a cobija. Look how warm and cozy I am. Dad, it feels like we're living in Antarctica. An old, ugly, worn out blanket isn't going to help. Ah, it's not ugly. Mira, it has a tiger. Cobijas are some of the warmest blankets in the world. It looks like you found that blanket under a rat's nest in a dump covered with cockroaches. Don't say that. This was your grandma's blanket. She gave it to me and one day I'm gonna give it to you. Oh no, you can keep that. If that blanket touches me, I can catch a disease or two. <laughs> What's wrong with you? You used to love this cobija. Yeah, when I was a kid, I'm not your little boy anymore. And aren't you supposed to be at work? I took the day off. I'm getting some much needed rest. Rest? You should be working so you can afford to pay this heater. Hey, who do you think you are talking to me like that? I'm your papa. You know what? You always tell me to get a job, but how about you get a new job, one that pays well, so you won't be broke? <sighs> I hate living here. I'm gonna be in my room freezing to death. <sighs> Hijo de tu madre. Hey, Darman fam. As you can see, Saul continues to be disrespectful to his dad. But in this instance, I actually agree with him. And the lesson here is don't be cheap like this guy. I'm not cheap. I sent money to Mexico. Like I said, don't be cheap like this guy. Uh, how about you mind your business and you give your sister her shirt back? 
Ay, ya levántate, por favor. It's time to clean. Look at this cochinero. Why do I have to clean right now? I just want to sleep. <laughs> well, if you would have cleaned the house before, like you said, then you wouldn't have to clean right now. Gosh, get over it already. You're always holding grudges. Ah, get over it? How about you get over your little attitude? You've been very mean and disrespectful, and that stops today. What are you even talking about? You're always lying, you don't do your chores, and you said some very mean things to your papa. How? I just didn't want his stinky enchiladas, and I was cold, so I wanted the heater on. He's just overreacting, and you are too. No, you're just a brat and a malagradecido. Your dad and I work very hard to make you happy. <laughs> if you say so. Mira, we wanted to surprise you for a nice birthday gift, but because of your attitude, we're just gonna return it. No, wait, what is it? Your dad's been working a lot of overtime and we've been saving money so that you can go see the Lakers. Seriously? It's my dream to see them. Huh? Well, keep on dreaming. You ruined that chance because now you're not going. Next time you want to lie, disobey, or talk bad about your parents, remember today. Clean your room. Hey, Darman fam. The lesson here is that some parents suck, but Saul's parents really suck. And please remember, we're not just telling stories. We're changing lives. And make sure you subscribe to The Crazy Gorilla. Yo, who are you? Just leave me alone. Just leave me alone, Mom. He's here again. Whatever happens in the dark always comes to light. Mom, 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 Mom! Feliz Navidad. Mom, how many more tamales do I have to eat? I can't take it anymore. <laughs> Ay, mijito, we have a thousand more. You're eating tamales till August. <laughs> Feliz Navidad. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Anthony, and I'm spending Christmas in a Mexican house. If you live in a Mexican house during the holidays, 99% of the time, you're gonna have to help make tamales. And guess what? You're making a lot of them. All right, mom, uh, I'm gonna head out now. I'll see you later. Hey, what do you mean? I'm making tamales. Okay, well, Good luck with that. Can't wait to try them. No, 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 no. I mean, we are making tamales. <laughs> what do you mean, we? we? Mom, you know I've, I've had these plans. We were gonna go to the movies and we we're gonna get dinner afterwards. Like, I told you I was gonna go out. You didn't tell me I had to help you make tamales. Like, why do all of a sudden I gotta help you make tamales? No, no, no. <sighs> so, how many tamales do we have to make? Well, your cousins from Mexico are coming, your tios from Texas, and don't forget your dad's family. So I'd say 1,000 tamales. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, mom. There's no way we can actually make 1,000. <laughs> no, I'm serious. 1,000. There's no way we need that many tamales. What are we, feeding an army? Hi, we're Mexican. So yes, apurate. We have a lot of work to do. We have 967 tamales to go. Apurate. There's no way I'm gonna feel my hands after this. Mexican parents can never turn down a good deal. And that's why my dad likes to get his Christmas gifts at the swap meet. <sighs> the kids are gonna love their gifts. Dad, what are you doing with those random toys? Oh, I'm just wrapping Christmas gifts for your primos. Mira, I got them a Fortnite character. Yeah, that is not a Fortnite character. That's like an ugly Cabbage Patch kid. Huh? Como que no? The guy at the Swami told me this was a Fortnite exclusive. Yeah, you um, you got hustled. <sighs> Mira what else I got. The iPhone 16. Hello. Bueno, bueno. <laughs> that is definitely not an iPhone, but I'm sure they'll love it. No, they're really gonna love this last one. Mira, an authentic John Wick mask. <laughs> I'm John Wick, now I'm your papa. <laughs> Dad, I've seen every John Wick movie and I can confirm that is not John Wick. John Wick, papa, John Wick, papa. <laughs> I gotta say, your gift choices are pretty mid. Just wait till you see the gift that I got you. <laughs> I'm so excited to see what you got me. Most people spend the holidays relaxing, listening to Christmas music, sipping hot cocoa, but in my house, my mom makes me clean. 
Hey, get off the game and help clean. What? You never said I had to clean. Pues, you should have read my mind. Well, what's the point of cleaning if the family's gonna come over and make a mess anyway? Why would you clean your butt if it's gonna get dirty anyways? Huh, that's actually a very valid point. Well, what do I have to clean? The top of the cabinet? Seriously? No one is going to see the top of the cabinet. Hi, you never know. Your deal's kind of tall. And do you want to be known as the family with dust on top of the cabinets? Huh? Mom, it is not that serious. And anyways, Theo isn't that tall. He's only like four foot seven. Holy, the more complaining you do, the longer it's going to take. Okay, well, I'm almost done. Ah, perfecto. Once you're done, I need you to sweep the roof next. Please say psych. No, the ladder's outside already. <laughs> jingle ball, jingle ball, I love Christmas. Next jingle thing you know, Christmas. she's gonna ask me to mop that's, the grass. That's a great idea. And every year during Christmas, my family comes over and they take over the house, especially the kids. Uh, who are you guys? We're your cousins from Texas, don't you remember us? Uh, not really, but why are you guys in my room? Your mom said we could play in here. What? And who said you could use my laptop? Your mother let me use this computer. Why is that baby eating my game? Your mom said she could eat it. Well, are you guys gonna clean up this mess at least? No, you are. Mom! <sighs> okay, here's the Christmas gift I was talking about. All right, let's see what you got me. <laughs> oh, a used drill. It wasn't on my Christmas list, but um, thank you, I guess. It's one of the best. And now that you have one, I need you to go to the backyard and fix the fence, reinforce it, the wind brought it down. Now if you're done wait, with wait, that, wait, the did, balcony. Did you get me this just so I could do all your chores? They're not my chores, they're our chores. So once you're done with the balcony, I need you to go to the patio, do that, get some two by fours, fix it up, you got the drill. And once you're done with that, 